in Liberia, November 1944, a public spirited person was born. Joseph Numa Wakai from Wasanga, Foya District, Lofa County. He is a role model. He's actually my inspiration. He's also a perfect example of humility. He's a very humble person. Through that papi, the help he start giving all from this swam here. I know that when he get there, he will help me. He will help the nation. In anyway, now I see that wall. Back around now that says that thing. Now you can't even get it. So now what we here for? Let the government see to it that they put right answer. So how many back are right in the back? If I get uh, uh, rest, I'll keep to buy 100 beds. I can have uh, 400 beds now. You get store or you want to keep it in your house? I get my uh, continue. I sell my business is registered. And I know illegal business woman. So what's your final message to the government? I want the government to say rest on the port. We talking here, uh, we talking street. Uh, and I think a politician put money in our bed to come and stay in the sun. So this is now no street tour. It is real that there is no rest. If rest here, you will not see the number of people that are wasting outside here to get rest. No, let uh, 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 what we are can offer. Let president we have been very strong speaking out against Mr. George Weir. Why do you think he would be the wrong person to rule this country? He was the world best, European best, Africa best. All the best, right? He made so much money. We are told 93 million dollars. I stand to be corrected in this amount. But he made so much money to the extent that the United Nations looked at him and made him what? United Nations ambassador for UNICEF to donate his money to suffering children around the world. How many children in Liberia did he prioritize? Nothing. There's no George Weir Foundation, there's no Schools Academy, there's no Recreation Center, there's no public library for public school students, there is absolutely nothing. Money is gone. You want to be president to set over our resources, the same way you manage, mismanage yours, you will man mismanage ours. That's what I think. We fear rigging. We fear rigging. What project will benefit from? Don't come to talk about local battery road because I, I did pass government. Before we take leave of you this afternoon, um, you have contested for presidency two times in laws. 2023 is coming, and you might be contesting for senator. So how are we going to compromise that you still have the hope of contesting for presidency? No, I will go to the Senate. Because you know what? I see this. 2023, it will be Rick. Rick? Yes. What make it so? Prophetically speaking, I'm a man of God. I'm a man of God. It's not something I'm seeing by this government. I say it will be rigged. By this government. By this government. To remain in power. Okay? And that will bring the government and the civilians into confrontation. So if I run for president, it is rigged. I will, I will lose both the Senate and the, and the presidency. So did you see the end of that vision? What will happen if it is rigged? I see some confusion between civilians and people. I see more demonstration. I see more chaos. I'm a man of God. The citizens are crying every day, libraries are. Why are you all the lawmakers? Some if it don't happen, what I tell you? In Liberia, November 1944, a public spirited person was born. Joseph Numa Wakai from Wasanga, Foya District, Lofa County. He is a role model. He's actually my inspiration. He's also a uh, perfect example of humility. He's a very humble person. Through that papi, the help he start giving all from this swam here. I know that when he get there, he will help me. It's all in the game. It's all in the game. Here, there, and everywhere. Here, there, and everywhere. The people keep on crying. The
Friday, you know, Ruby, to get people to go home. Yeah, but we have, we, have, we have panelists outside of Monrovia. Where is uh, Josh Tule? Where is uh, the Red Rabbit? Okay. Why and uh, uh, Jerry? Oh, you didn't reach out to him? No, I thought you would do. I... Yeah, okay, but. Uh... But it's good. Did Today you, we want to hear more from. Did you, from did, you send, did you send him the stuff? Yeah, send in the chat. But today I thought we should hear more from our people. So that's why I'm hoping Ali can, Mohammed Ali can join us. And then uh, we talk less and hear more from our people. You know, today we want, we want as many persons to call and just state what is on their mind. Uh, be it social, political, just any national issue. We'll talk about trending issues first. And then uh, we'll open the lines to hear from our people. Many of you can call in to uh, state what is on your mind, you know, what is happening in Liberia, across the world about Liberia, uh, 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 um, and how you think, you know, it benefits the uh, uh, the country. I see my brother, which <laughs> we'll have talking about today, Friday, pay the air. So what are the people who are going to take it pay uh, 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 to chat 
and, and they out there hanging out. But we were here. We're glad to be here. I see my brother David Pokoyu, um, Wilhelm Tuchet, Samuel Kate. I see. Oh, I, I see Blogen Nation. Welcome, my brother. Even though you, your staunch supporter of the CDC, <laughs> I see you here. It's good that you can you can be here and, and come to class and, and benefit from the fountain here because we, we at this place we liking people. Uh, it's, it's not like the <laughs> your your saga tree. Everybody got to be of spa. What they what they own is um um they they they, they, they think uh, different outlines of show will be will be focusing on what they want to be the focus point. So it's like, okay, let's power on all the things to see what are they talking about this particular situation? You know, <laughs> I, I, think, I think that's a basis. No, my brother, I'm fine here for, but you, you're not gonna stay. As soon as he watch and you're getting the prelude to why you're talking about it, you say, okay, let me go check it out. <laughs> I know, right? So, I, I, know, I, know, I see my, that's I okay. see my sister, uh, Catherine Ama Masare. Uh, see Tenny Nyong, Doris Konganu, um, Sangari Siddiq, always following Kemosilo. Damn, hey, Kemosilo, long time, my brother. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Uh, uh, good to see you. Um, Kyawu Zubayi, uh, Samuel P. John, John Bond Smith, Secret Sherry. I see my brother, um. Uh, Leroy, Leroy Johnson, um, using your cardio. Um, I see Hank Simtamba, uh, Samuel Kate, everybody. I see my sister Fumi, um, my sequel. And everybody, you know, we'll be joined later on by hopefully more Ali can join us. Uh, and then uh, George Tule will join us from uh, from Canada for us to talk about happenings about Liberia across the globe. Uh, um, we'd like to welcome all of you to the class today is friday the uh, the fourth of november and my man year the year over already yeah yeah but it's good as a, as the year moves on you are plus one yeah. i show you one day long right you people people say oh, yeah. oh, no level a blessing from god so as a year passes by one year added to your age exactly. and i mean in a in a world where that are young people are dying, people, teenagers, uh, adolescents. So people who are blessed that you keep having plus one and you're gradually moving into a rep old age, like some of us, it's a blessing. Not many person can even see their children or their children's children. So exactly. it's good for the year to, to end as, 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 as normally it is. So yes, for me, I will look forward to living the year and seeing the end of it. It can be a good thing because at the end of every year, you know, then one of my young daughters is plus one. And by the time I come to myself, they are grown all right uh, in, the in college. In college, yeah. by the time you look, they, they were educated and start, start getting prepared to take care of themselves and, and take care of daddy and mommy. So, exactly. yeah, when the year goes by, it's good, still. Yeah, you know, it's good. Uh, 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 age is, as they say, age is blessing. The more birthdays you celebrate, the longer you live. Um, so it's good, you know, um, we're in November, the year is uh, it's gradually coming to an end uh, in about 45 to 50, 60 days, 45 to 50 days will be in the uh, the much awaited 2023. 2023 promises to be a year of uh, of many, 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 many ups and downs, uh, news, uh, events, trending issues, and I'll show next year we will be here uh, talking about a lot of things, uh, talking about the elections, campaign, the candidates, doing an analysis about candidates. Maybe, you know, bring 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 candidates on the show so that they can debate, you know, uh, serve our panelists and bring two candidates from, from, from within our parties and other collaborative institutions to talk. For instance, we look in District 5, we see Mo Ali and somebody else running we say, look, you know, I've been to you come on the stage, you'll talk about your platform, how you intend to move. Because one of the things we want to do here is not just only focus on the presidency. We know that one of the ways also to change your country is to also focus on the legislature. If we have a strong, robust, and effective legislature, it keeps the president in check. 
you wouldn't have a, a, an imperial presidency where you have a strong legislature independent of the presidency. One day, one day we pray, hopefully in our lifetime, we can begin to see that manifest, to see a, a legislature that is holding the government or the presidency accountable. You know, uh, P.I. Ulevia in the States, you see where even, even lawmakers from, the, from, the, from their own party, they play hardball. Once their community, their state or district interest is not sort out in whatsoever plan the president put forth, they don't vote and they go yeah, around. Joe, 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 Joe Manchin and Christian Cinema are president in their own right. Exactly. Because whatever the, the Democratic held Congress or the Senate wants to do, they can't afford to lose any of those two persons with the with the, with the Senate being. So those those people are, they are powerful and they've demonstrated that they've not always agreed to what um, other Democrats in Congress want or what President Biden wants, uh, like you said. Uh, maybe the time when we start seeing those kinds of things in Africa, then that's the time Africa will change from where it is. Because yeah, what, yeah. what do we see there? If I'm a CDC lawmaker, I blindly support every and anything, whether it's proper or not. That, that's what we do. Imagine, sorry, imagine seditions in the, in, 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 in the, the legislature when they were bringing their Eton and, and, and Ibo Mark. Ibo Mark. Is that really the money come from Satan the way they were supported? In here, somebody like Joe Manchin would tell you, said, what is that? What are you talking about? You don't, you can't count on me. And it is just from that point, the whole thing will crash land. Exactly. But over there, you see the person doing something that is wrong. You see a proposal that is not correct. You see a proposal that will not benefit the country. Then because you are a lawmaker from that party, you think you own an obligation to support it. Even when the president is misbehaving, you think you should you should sign up to it because that's your party. And 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 I think that's one of the major reasons why Africa is why it is. And and sometimes they don't then say, say, yeah, we'll talk about we are, we are, we are, we are, and that's just about we are. Anybody else could be president, we'll talk about the president. But that place we call legislature, the way people behave, sometimes it may be the way people can go in for a, can we decide that we only be electing presidential candidate on party and all other persons will be elected as individual, not linked to any political party? You know, maybe then we can get them to be who they're supposed to be, that independence we need for them to do the right thing for the country. But as long as they are attached to party, just forget it. The president then says Buka, they all then Buka. The exactly. president then says zombie, they all then zombie. And that's all they all do. So let's, let's recognize our radio stations. Uh, we have uh, Bushwa Radio FM 98.1 in Montserrado, Shakta FM 102.5, Montserrado Premier FM 98.1 in Bwanga, Bwanga City, uh, Bon County, our newest edition. We have uh, Radio Dupa FM 89.1. Shout out to, to Radio Dupa. Uh, we have uh, Voice of Lofa FM 99.3 in Vonjama, uh, Lofa County, Radio Joy Africa 97.5. In Mark EB, Voice of Compa 106.5 there in Nima County and Puto Radio FM 103.2. Uh, Pia, let me just share this with you. Um, I got a call this afternoon from Senator Yombi Kanga Lawrence, and she was uh, she was talking about she was in she's in Basel, and 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 then she she was talking about how the the class reloader is 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 widely listening to in 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 the county and that. Uh, the, the the people of Basel, the people of Basel, been been talking about it. every time she goes home. They say, "Oh, uh, uh, Senator Class B, Lola, oh, yeah, they be calling your name." The Basel, I'm on Pia, I'm on Pia. Then they talk about I'm on Steve Josie. So she called me today, Senator Kaga Lori. I called me earlier today to talk about it. She said, "My man, y'all got to go run for for representing the city Basel. Yeah, y'all need all over the county." <laughs> You see, part that's that's part of it. It's not just about it's not just about that. You see, uh, and that's how we've always gotten it wrong. Um, people do little things, and we stand by those things, judge them by those things. And say, hey, okay, because of this, come and beat this. You know. But I think I'll let the people start it. Yeah, it got, it got, it got, it got, it got it. No, I know. They, they, I just saying that uh, because that's the interpretation. Some people give it. Oh, don't mind Pierre or Stephen. All that thing they bring with it. 
the marketing they're doing so that uh, in the end of LLC they want. Yeah, I mean, nobody knows what the future has, but to say that is the primary objective of being here, no, we don't, we don't, that, 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 that can be it. You know, leadership at the top is a problem in the country. And so we want to help to, to because the, the, the people normally say the future start getting rotten from the hair. So when you find the direct chemistry at the hair, it's possible a lot of things will come into play. I mean, and that, that, that has been evidently proving over and over, over and over, over, over. How many government officials, for example, when Ellen came to power, you saw just out of building houses or buying houses all over the place that you see the fellows doing? Because you, you kill the power and the president who kill the power, the horse that she's been having rack of ages, that's why she went to start living. So what's going to push you to start buying homes all over the place? In this case, once the guys saw the man who was getting them building 47 condominiums for the first few months, once they saw him transforming rehab, transforming uh, resort, going to Nan Street, getting ready to, to do it, in fact, the Nan Street owned backfire, Smith to be king and publicly lies in the building for uh, the president's son. President Trump knowing the implication of looking at this saying he's a US citizen panic and say, wow, what, what kind of nonsense you're doing so? They have to refer 360 degree and, and, and admit that indeed the property was safe for the president. So everybody saw him doing all kinds of things all over the place and, they, and all the ministers and, and junior officials and everybody were ready to also be a uh, real estate millionaire, that buy and building all over the place. Go to Broad Bay then and you see uh, 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 what 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 Koji then lay down there? I'm told when they when he when he bought that property initially from uh, somebody and the person brother came and 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 and, and, and yeah the one the one on 19th Street no somewhere in Broadville somewhere in Broadville and tried you to the one on 19th Street he bought it twice tried to claim his property they went to court the man won the case and then all of a sudden mysteriously the man died and after the man died mysteriously the land was available and the building started landing out there like, like, like rainfalling. You know, just a city mayor. What's the, what's the salary of a city mayor? A city mayor who was living in somebody's zinc shop who could have a full meal for himself. What's your salary that you're building mansions all over? Because the head, the head, what the head is doing, everybody will follow. So poor, not crazy to jump over the place and start showing arrogantly that they have wealth when the president herself was not doing that. When she came and were living all in her own very small place. Even, 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 even Finda, I remember um, I had ran into Finda in uh, in Fishtown. In a building all over the place. She got yeah, she had a small small cobo She had a small cobo in Fishtown. The last, uh, the last, the last country tour we made, she had a contact to cook the food for all the rest of the not the not the big big people, but the rest of the people. She yeah. made the food for them. Her in, I, 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 I her kosher those days in Fishtown. It was a little small uh, place, uh, beat down the dust. Um, today she's she, she's among the wealthiest people in Liberia, uh, accumulating properties all across the country. I listened to a video from Fagon where he talks he talks about some of her properties. And and and, and the funny thing is is uh, people forget to learn from history. Um, I remember years back, uh, somebody was telling me about when you take a drive from Robertsfield to Monrovia, it tells the history of Liberia in, in a nutshell. And, 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 and what the person was saying was, as you drive from, from, from Congo Town towards Robertsfield, you see within the Congo Town Bell, you see, you begin from the old road, going closer to Congo Town, you, be, you see the, 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 the officials of the 70s those who had accumulated wealth and, and, and power started to build in those areas. As you drift in the, towards the Conga Town Bell, ending towards the, the, to the end towards the Conga Town Bell, you see those of the 80s. You know, many government officials of the 80s had come to Monrovia, some of them from, from, from Leeward counties, saw it as luxury those days to live in the Conga Town Bell. And then as you drift, Towards the Rabbit's Feet Highway, you begin to see the 90s. The uh, the uh, those who during the Chastel era, the Louis Brown, the uh, the um, uh, how do you call it? Um, Momo Chiba, and all these people in the 90s. You see, in the early 2090s, you start seeing the road going to the airport. Now, it took a it took a deep turn at some point where private citizens started to accumulate properties on those side until 
recently you, you see now places like Marshall, uh, uh, closer towards the airport, you, see, you start seeing officials of the, of the, of the late 2000s uh, with property. So it, it, just a drive from, from Oro straight to Robertsville tells you the, the, the political demographic of the country in terms of how wealth was situated and how it, you know, it started to spread. I thought it made sense. But speaking of dialects, you know, let's for us to talk about this this trip. Uh, the president goes to he's in Morocco. Um, he's going to be there. He's going to be away not in Morocco per se, but he's going to be away on t until the seventeenth of December. So he left on the first of November to the seventeenth. If you if you look at it, uh, thirty day has has thirty days plus seventeen. You're talking anywhere between 47 days. So let's say 31 days. You're talking about anywhere between 48 days, Pierre. 48 days. So 48 days, you're talking about about eight weeks. About eight weeks. So the president of Liberia is gone away for 48 days. Somebody said the country is in freestyle. Because the president is, is finding every means he can to run away from his responsibility. He never talks to Liberia. He never says a word on, 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 to the press, never conducts any press conference where people will ask questions. We've invited him here. We told him if you have the time you're bringing here, we'll interview him. And, and that, we know it's not going to happen, but at least we've made the effort. But here's a guy who says nothing to Liberians. He collects $1.5 million. He goes, and then I, you know, somebody sent me a clip where I listen to people trying to justify. You, you are talking about a country where the majority of your people cannot even afford a dollar a day. No stable meal. When the president makes a trip in this instance, it should be beneficial to the country. Not just about going on a, on a jamboree on a fun fair, it should it should be beneficial to the country. He goes to Qatar. Somebody say at the invite of FIFA. FIFA now, FIFA as a private entity, not political. If FIFA inviting you officially to a program, FIFA will be responsible for you. The only thing the government of Liberia will give you will be incidental. The government can give you DSA. Because if you if you've been sponsored by a, a not a, a third party, almost like yeah, you know, when we were at when we were in like you know, for instance, you go at guess of Ecowas, Ecowas pays paid paid for your ticket, they gave you your pedan. The only thing you get from your country is your incidental, just in case something happened. But you don't get up. So if the if FIFA is inviting we are and we are is has collected monies from the coffer to fund the trip, then he's double dipping. He's collecting from both sides, which is, by law, is criminal. President cannot double dip, or nobody for that matter, not much about president, but nobody who 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 is on a government trip or who is on a trip sponsored by a third party should also get DSA, which is part damn from the host country. Now he goes there. He's going to be in Morocco. He goes to Egypt to attend the the COP. COP27 on, on climate change. From there, he goes to Monaco, to Paris, as we've told. From Paris, he goes to, to Monaco to see the crown prince. Well, that's what we learned. Then he goes to Qatar. He goes to Qatar and spends nine days in Qatar. He, he's there for the opening of the World Cup. He's going to watch a soccer game, a few soccer matches, especially the one his son is playing. So we, 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 nobody hates George. We are here. We don't hate. We are. But yes, what we're saying, if, if we are going to travel to watch his son play for another country, then we are himself should fund that. The Liberian people cannot pay for a trip for we are to go watch his son play for another country. I will understand if Cham was playing, if Timothy was playing for Liberia. But he doesn't. He doesn't play for Liberia. He plays for the America. So now the Liberian people, as poor as they are, they are funding a trip for the president to go see his son play for another country. 
Let's welcome Ali. So, Pia, your take. Uh, Mo Ali, welcome. Yeah. Well, I said it the other day, and I will repeat the same thing. It's um, it's stupid. It makes no sense for the president of any country to be out of the country for 30 days, as we thought it was the last time. And now we know that it's 40 something days. It makes no sense. Yes, I know they will bring all the challenge argument that the presidency is every, anywhere the president is. That's, that's, that's more of a theory uh, because you know that when the president leaves the country, the president says, Stephen Johnson will chair my cabinet in conjunction and he worked in conjunction with the vice president. But the reason why the president does that and the president can do the same when the president in country is, yes, the president is president anywhere, but the, the, the reality is you, you're just not in charge of what is happening on the ground when you're not there. That's why you leave somebody in charge. So nobody who is running a country as president should be out of the country for that long. Even the great United States of America where the president sometimes does tours in different places. Say, for example, say oh, the president of America is doing a six nation African tour. Basically, sometimes they're, they're looking at trips to take the president out of America for just one week, not more than one week. The president will tour six, seven country in one week, just tapping through some of them for hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we saw that happening several times. Just talk through some of them. Some of them that are based on their importance and, and stronger ties with America, maybe you spend a night. By the time a week is over, that tour is finished. Right? And in a poor African country, you gotta look at it from many perspectives, besides the president not being in charge when he's out. You gotta look at it because on the books, you got laws that says when people travel, all the different places around the world. The people at Ministry of Finance have done all the assessment as to what the, the, the basically the cost of living mm -hmm. is in those places. And on that note, they determine per down rate for all the different places. If the president leaves the country for 48 days and says, for example, the president leaves with 30 persons, every city they're going to by the per down rate of that country, it is calculated. So everybody who wants to trip with the president, you're not coming back home until 48 days. Everybody on that trip with the president get 48 day per dam. When the president is in a place in France, it's similar to the America and other places. The rate is high as compared to Morocco or Egypt. But for 48 days, each of the people on his delegation, including himself, will get that human. That's the reason why we've been told now that the cost of the trip is 1.5 million. Exactly. Why would the country spend 1.5 million just for the president to move around? Has the executive manager communicated to us what is the fruit of that visit? What did Liberia get out of the president's speech at the, the program in Morocco, for example? What will Liberia get from the president attending the opening session of the World Cup in Qatar and stay there an additional nine days? Why does it benefit the country? Even in America that he's coming, it has no direct immediate benefit except that you just form part of the people who the U.S. president will meet on his U.S. African Leader Summit. Exactly. You're not going to be dishing up money or making commitments to country financially after that forum. We all know how it works. So even if you add the great United States into the picture, which is of interest to we are because of photo shoot, because that's why interesting move, especially when it comes to America, what do we get? But we just, we're spending 1.5 million. If a president, for example, is going to the AU, you went to the UN, or you visiting another country on a state visit, where you have bilateral agreement and, and things will be done, that is part of your, your responsibility and the state is responsible for that, the state will pay for it. But there are other places, and President Sally have many of those kind of trips. Where she had to go places, and like you said, she only received incidental from the government because those trips are always finance and yeah. So, for example, have her decide to call President Sally to come speak there, which she did many times, have her bore the cost of that trip. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, we went, I remember, we went to Chad in Jamila, where she was invited for something. They paid for it. Nigeria were having a centennial celebration. They paid for it. They even sent the presidential jet 
to fly us there. All right, the only incidentals were paid. So, but on a we are arrangement, anywhere the president goes, whether that's a private team, whether that's a white football game, the country must pay. And therefore, 1.5 million is being ditched. Like I said, if it is in other countries that are so radical, he's not coming back. The people will rise up and tell you not coming back. When you get ready to come back, no plea will even be able to even learn all right. We saw a nearly happy in Sierra Leone when you must have saw it. When Manabio went to, 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 to London, he sat down there, the people went and wired additional money to him. We saw the chaos that evolved in Freetown. We saw what happened even at the airport. When the masters were prepared to take over the airport, to insist that Bio should not come back. Because once they take over the airport, Bio cannot learn he will not come back. Mm -hmm. I mean, they went that far before security forces tried to use some heavy hand, they were bloodshed, but the people stood up. And if you ask me, Bio learn a lesson from it. You're not gonna try that nonsense anymore. Because he saw what happened. He realized he almost got out of his office. But in our, in our country, mm, people don't stand up. If a Henry Costa doesn't go to Liberia, collaborate with Mo Ali, then for them to stay June 7th or December something protest, everybody is sleeping. And therefore, the guys in the, in the current arrangement they feel comfortable. They say, oh, well, no money, people, man, we can do anything. We'll talk about it for a few days and then they will leave it. Let's spend the money. That's what they do. And so, somebody was trying to deflect. Because the New Year situation was on, we were trying to deflect one of the, the people who always post trash on Facebook. Oh, the biggest news for the day, that we passes MCC school car. So I was like, look at these fellows. I said, look at these fellows. When a country reaches compact, it's a five year developmental program through grants that are giving to undertake programs that will be reduce poverty. When Liberia had her first one and it ended, it did not need a five years gap to have another one. We had a five year gap because what supposed to be done was not done. So five years wasted. So now you say you pass, you pass finally, right? 12 out of 20, you got compact. Do you understand how it's rolled out? It's a five-year initiative. So basically, it's something that a responsible government, preferably headed by GMB, will execute and benefit from. That's how it works. Yeah, like that's, that's, all job. that's how it works. It's the next government that's going to roll up because when you meet the school card and say, okay, you, 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 you pass the school hey, card. Most of the school. Yeah, after, in fact, after all of that, you, you actually got to develop the concept and the grant and all those kind of stuff. They, they, they got all kinds of procurement processes. Re, re, you, will re, you will recruit grant managers and all kinds of stuff. That's why it's a long period of time that went five years. And that five years is almost at the point where you're starting the implementation. So if you look back, you revise small, it's been more than five years. And you waste that five years. If we didn't, if, if we didn't fail, that may they put a pack their thing or leave that bureau. Over the last five years, we should have been executing the compound that we that we just been qualified for. Whatever the social, the social programs and developmental programs were, we would have even be at the point if that completing there, we would have been in the middle of the implementation period. Exactly. <laughs> you wasted all that time zero. So where we are now, JMB and his team in the background, they got to start planning for this. So that by the time they inherit this situation, they implement that five-year program, they will be able to have another qualification to do something and that waste years. That's why you saw these people who didn't know what they were doing did. So yes, it's a good thing that you find out the past after failing, failing, failing. And we it's good for the country. Uh, because whatever will come from whether it happens immediately or five years from now or six, seven years from now, it will still benefit the country when no interventions are made. So it's a good thing. The fact that you've blundered all over doing all kinds of things, looting the country, people building condominiums, and all the all the terrible things that are happening, at least one good one, you're standing up for it, you're celebrating. In a few weeks, perhaps, the second round of sanctions will come. You will say America doesn't run Liberia. You see how stupid we can be sometimes? Yeah.
In the same people's day score, you saw a video with a set of my head. You say they can prove. They will put plenty of people on sanction. They say they didn't want to run the country. They say they got proof. Exactly. But 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 they say you pass the score card, they get proof of that one, right? Garbage. They're more than car. Yeah, more, 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 please, Toya. <laughs> Welcome, Mo. Thank you, Steven. Um, See, you having challenges with school. electricity there. <laughs> yeah, we've been out of electricity for the last four months. And like I said, every day we're going to be at NEC over and over. We can't get transformers. <coughs> you know, when you come in the night, you got to get gas and put generator on and everything. But anyway, uh, thanks to you too for the show. I've been listening, and I think we should talk more about this traveling thing. It is something that is really unnecessary. You know, Charles Rao was telling me yesterday, he said, according to information that he got, the president has decided to stay out of the country for a long time deliberately, indicating that when he's out for long, the Liberian people will miss him. When he comes back, plenty people will go at the airport to work. Oh, to build the momentum for, for the for the rally. Yeah. That is the plan. So that people will go at the airport to welcome him. Because it doesn't make any sense. Assuming that FIFA, like Eugene Nami was saying last night, was pulled talk that FIFA had invited the president to witness the opening game because most time it is the opening matches they invite dignitaries to and former stars. The Walker opens on the 20th of November. And he said, Oh, and the email of Qatar invited him to and this and that. <laughs> what email? So Arab people went like bro and just pass around, you fire around with them. Walk up opens on the 20th. You had some Bagwati speech to give in Morocco. You go, you give it. You gave a speech day before yesterday. Then you go into Egypt for what? For COP27. Eh? You said COP27. I mean, Kame, Kame Summit, COP27. So then what the whole delegation for? Yeah, you carry men like Alaska that are all behind you for 20 You carry the, the whole country to be recording you on TV. The seven. Then you finish with COP27. What are you going to Monaco for? So, this is the layout of his trip. From Egypt, you will go to Monaco. Because he got to be walking around to kill time. To so delay, you want kill time until the walker starts. To kill time until the walker starts. So, from Monaco, he goes to Qatar. Watch the opinion of the World Cup. Stay there till the next day, the 21st. He's spending nine He's days up. there. Yeah, to watch his son playing. After from there, he leaves and goes back to Nice in France. And then walk up board there. He got home there. So that, that one, he called it home. So he going home. So he'll be getting time there until he goes to the U.S. So we got another dog there that you're not seen for long. You got to go see Maybe it. Maybe Rassel, 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 two there. These people, the, 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 the news we are hearing from in the corridors of the finance ministry, this trip is around 1.5 million U.S. dollars. 1.5 million. You spend 1.5 million, you go, and you bring a dividend of zero that and then people say you know the other guy on the talk show saying oh boy you say the president can't travel the president traveling now traveling for what when you travel what a dividend you bring in because we saw many times Ellie johnson suddenly went out she brought dividend and i remember the only time we went on the airport and mass to welcome president Sally was the trip she made to lobby for the relief of Liberia's four point some more billion dollars. billion Yeah. That one she came all went to the airport because we thought it was a great achievement. Yeah, there was a there was a second one and that second one had a basis because she was there and they 
the naysayers share news all over that she was exactly there. Exactly when they said she was there. Yeah, so people had to show up because of that. Other than that, yeah. So you get on, you go. For me, I think we should always discuss this thing using 1.5 million dollars. When in actuality, the civil servants they talk about, still in the news are gone. You know where they're getting now? No. For the fact that. All the civil servants. For the fact that like US, that one they can get in their account this time. So would so these, like, these so many people to call the show, they will not call it. They will name. not. No, they, 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 they shouldn't call their name. Shouldn't call their name. Someone that can call it. Yes. Yeah. They, they shouldn't call their name. I mean, in the background, they then call me and say, I'm, you know, I want to speak on this matter. Don't call your name. Forty-five dollars, some of them fifty dollars. was so small, like even now. That's what they get this time. And, and I learned and, the judiciary. The judiciary hasn't been paid for over three months. But they able to talk. You know, you know, they scare. You know why they scare? They will treat them like, 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 like the way they treat their cabinet then. Even the legislature, Stephen, you will not believe when you talk to these people. You know, before when you go around some of them, you say, Look, I need gas, man, gas slip. They'll give it to you. Call one lawmaker, you ask them for gas. You know what they can tell you? <laughs> My man, see June, we get so see June, we get so. But meanwhile. Money is there, 1.5 million, 2 million is there for the president to go walk up on. That walk up on, and guess what? That private jet he's using. Yeah. Private jet, that one he's using. Now, even if somebody gave you the private jet free, yeah, you know about it, your travel more. The cost, the maintenance cost alone. Every time you learn the maintenance crew that will come and maintain the plane, the fuel, and everything and not just that a plane is kept in the people airport space until you get ready to leave you pay for it and have free parking every fly that lands at an airport the better cost for keeping your plane at that airport and i have uh -huh. and and packet chain and a chicken chain so imagine yeah. you'll be in Qatar for nine days old. Now they actually will be packing all that small money. Then they say FIFA invited you. Normally, FIFA invite people that the FIFA money. FIFA pay for the trip. Get, FIFA invite you to pay, pay for the trip. They pay for everything. FIFA invite you to care ten person. That so FIFA invite those 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 people. You want the trip? And you say who you are quoting? Your mother, Ali. You say who said that? On. On the FIFA, uh, uh, that uh, on the on oh, you, the, you, uh, your man using language. When it when it means of when it when it means of invited him. When it means of when it means of when it means of information. When it press secretary. They in copy the cardo. Don't want it. Don't want it. They don't want to talk anymore. They made a basic day. They say they not talk. When the last time you heard solo care about anything. Somebody told me. You see, back in Liberia, because for almost a year, you were in, you, you in Pennsylvania for almost a year, still yeah. president. Somebody yeah, told me that, that that what he name that this guy, uh, 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 the, the the minister of information, really? the That's minister your... of information said he started lying, and I heard him one time on the radio saying that look. The information he will get from ministries and agencies, he will verify them before he can say it. So there are certain things, people like that, maybe they don't have the face to come on the radio to defend why the president will be out of the country for seven weeks. Then you resign. For seven weeks. you out of the country for seven weeks. In any serial country, and I'm saying like, we're not serial, but we're two good of people. Yeah, in a country where people not too good like Liberia, who the president you go for seven weeks, you come in, I sit there for you. There's no way, you know. All the all the all the millionaire money the man had from football that they talk about. Where he could he could he take his cent to some other country even for one week pay own hotel? No, but you are just you just abusing the country, abusing. But you know what they you know, say? 
making, 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 I'm coming more in one minute. You're making people to be embarrassed. So, sometimes we don't let them talk about these things, but it's a real truth that we got to face. So we got a group of people, and we, we should not shy away from it. Because all of us got ethnic group we belong to. Mo is from Cape Town. He should be a fire man, stream myself from Basel, other people from Nimba, other people from Grand Gilead. We all agree, but we belong to different, different facets. Then we have our brothers and sisters who we say are American Liberians. They ran the country for 133 years. And we have all the bad things to say about them. We said they were bad. They were criminals. When the last of them who was president was executed, yeah. we jumped on the street, we called them roll. We said a, a, a native woman born soldier, a Congo woman born roll. Executed them. That's what we said. And then we put 13 of them on the poles and executed them because we said it's too. And we see uh, what but Steve, we, we have some of these journalists uh tonight who we, we said we wanted to get up. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So if you if well, yeah, we we'll like to we'll talk, we'll talk to the already. counties. Um we'll talk to the counties. And we'll see where we are. So we the country poll now who said we we born soldier and another born rule, and then we took we took power after 133 years. Look at what we've done. See the examples we said. How many of what you have had? You have two, it was a disaster. For all to fix it and find, if you want to use countrymen, find the wrong countrymen, we bring the other mayor, double disaster. Why would we kill a poor for Naniva? Why would we put a poor for Naniva? The skill of stealing, you see, going, why the poor day? The one the day, Stevie? You and Mohali, you answer me. The one the day? But no yeah. president, no president get, no president in Liberia history get for the seven countries. When you no saw, president. when you saw the trouble leaving the country, go stay down somewhere for for forty eight days. Maybe the only person who traveled that long was because you were travel by sea. Because that ship, those yeah, days. Yeah, you were Yeah, because you got to travel by ship. The traveling time alone, you are yeah, all there. But, but you get getting plane to, to, to London yeah. by sea. That almost one more. Yeah, but you get getting plane, but you got no bad. You feel going to where you going? Were you ready for the colors for the guys for the county? I'm trying to get uh, one of them on the line. John, John today in Canada, I will not eat on there. <laughs> the Miami internet is made useful. <laughs> John, John want them cheap money for each other in Canada. They are going off it all. I'm a Leo man. The poor guy who pay bills in Canada, they are your pay bills in America. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah well, yeah. So you gotta look for you gotta look for reasonable cost internet. <laughs> Ali, you get we'll, we'll, we'll go to the counters and talk to some of our correspondents. So yeah, so so I know people don't let to hear this thing. They get they get jit on when they when they hear, but it's just the truth. When you put lives on the poll, and the thing you put that on the poll for. Your generation of people who put on the pool, your car, you're doing triple of it. What is that? And you're doing it with arrogance. You don't care if they do hell with them. Their chance of giving me, I will use them. I had a lot of Yeah. When I feel it with them, they would never think about anybody of my caliber to be president anymore. That's how it looks there. Then he comes back. In the next place, you'll see, you'll go, to, you'll go practice with them to the feet. You so got I'm, to get, I'm trying to get this guy on a direct line because you know they, they see, 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 see there are a few things you gotta clear one more is still trying. Yeah, one is that we are we are earlier to our, our audience that we're gonna have the former chief justice today. That was uh uh there was that the proper communication. I think the new information is that we have the chief justice sometime next week. We come to we communicate the uh the exact day of our appearance. Uh, we also have some big guns, uh, senators here. Uh, we hold it like that here. We don't want to call it name, but we have some senators next week as guests. Uh, what we're trying to do now, yes, we do a lot of analysis here as panelists. We want to bring the decision makers, the policy makers, whether they are in the legislature, they, wherever they are. Even if the government ministers are not afraid to be running away from us, we want to have them here. Yeah. If they are protégés, the same Jackson and others who believe in them can come here and justify their action, we invite them to come. 
you know. Okay, get it. It's okay, get it. Intellectual lunches. You know, not scare them. The car, I mean, they don't just, <laughs> they don't just come so we can have an honest All right, gentlemen, we, we have Emmanuel Zegler on the line from Magibi, right? Yeah, Magibi. Yeah, Emmanuel. Uh, uh, good, good evening. Yeah, good evening, Mo. Uh, uh, good evening to the rest of the team of the class we know. Yeah. All right, so we have Steven Johnson and uh, 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 Senior Comrade uh, Jerry Limek Pia on the show tonight uh intermittently they will ask you question but tell us generally what's going on in magibi uh, magibi is really great unlike the situation we have with the rice they are now reduced the prices of rice are now reduced they stay at a very high price on the market well, what are you trying to say? Rice price the same it, 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 since it went all year, not come down. The same is for 3,500 as well now. That's around 25 barrels approximately yeah. for the half bag. Yeah, for the half bag. Wow. So it's still a serious situation here for But is the rice on the market? Is it plenty on the market that people can it's see too? It's not the market, it's not the market. But it's here, so at this price, but it's not as, as fully as, it's not as you will see them. Some places you go to, they have it. After a day or two, they don't have it in stock. So you gotta wait or put in an order before you get another one the next day. So that means that, that you got to you got to pull in ahead of time for the rice before yeah, you can get it. Yeah, most of the suppliers, retail suppliers, uh, retailers on the bridge, uh -huh. they don't stay too long, then they get out of stock. Oh, wow. That's it. But anyway, what's the reaction generated from the public on our rice issue? So most people will go with the three thousand two fifty on, right? But I don't even see the big difference, though. Oh, two thousand two fifty. Yeah. Low grade. So when you want to eat the, 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 the good grade, you pay three thousand five hundred. Yeah, Are people showing any anger towards that? Okay. Yeah, but we have a police vehicle that is very dilapidated. It can make any move. The, the no wheelchairs, 
no tail light. The, it doesn't have batteries. It has to do push and start. So the, the only the, police vehicle in the place. In the country, yeah. That means that the police can even adequately and, and in a timely manner respond to yeah, the emergency. They are actually impeding the function of the police. They have to now try to use the motorcycles to effect the rest. If you will carry your complaint, and you have to facilitate the police response. So that means you have to pay the police way to leave from the police station and also pay his way to go back to go back so in light of all this um, um um let's come to this one you have the president traveling police people in Maghibi don't have a vehicle they don't have anything to travel by to facilitate their movement their operations and you have the president using uh more than 1.5 million dollars to go on jolly jolly trip for almost two months I, I, what? How are the citizens reacting to that? <laughs> no, as you speak here, the citizens reaction is constant. We discussed that yesterday on our local radio show, mm -hmm. and a lot of people say they don't expect anything much from the president. That in in seven years, he's not doing anything much. Because he promised the people in my giving that he's going to pay his fifth major speech in 2018. Mm -hmm. 2018, November, the president of the year for a cabinet meeting. And because they had a cabinet meeting in Takata, we say the cabinet must be able to effect a change here. And the public house to pay his sixth major speech. They said that those six speech still remains and more deplorable. I, I, and it was. He said there are no impacts. So it's something that everybody thought that the president will say anything and doesn't mean it as well. The president had come on a state of the on a nationwide country tour and promised a group of disabled people twenty three thousand dollars for empowerment project. Mm. And up to date, the president has not laid off to that promise. And a group of people living with disabilities in here have continued to call on the president to make good his promise, but they are not come to fruition. So the expectation of the people about whatever happening is not high, and they think that the president will make it better because in previous time, they think that the president probably don't really mean well for people in my Guinea because we. We 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 were the counties among the uh, six popular counties in the country. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, but, but so, it, it matter. Hello. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Stevie wants to ask you a question. Yeah, Stevie. Yeah, uh, Emmanuel. Um, I, I listened to you talk about how the uh, the security, the, the police don't even have vehicle. Um, the president have made a lot of promises. Uh, 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 no, no, he has, he, has, he has failed to live up of those to those promises. But amidst all of that, we see McGill, who is sanctioned by the U.S. government for public corruption. We see McGill going to Maggie wanting to contest. Uh, we saw videos of him pulling huge crowd from Maggie How do we reconcile that Maggie on one Maggie is on one hand? See that the government has not delivered, but on the other hand, you see somebody who's responsible for 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 the conditions, so to speak, by looting from state resources, coming to the same county to to want to contest. How are Maghibians reacting to McGill? I mean, the ordinary Maghibians, uh, not not those who move from Monrovia back and forth on on on, on these uh, rallies. <laughs> Uh, unions are divided and they have become a level of what they call the, the battle that has been doing. McGill has insisted and he has said that we all number that he will be a senator in Maghibi County. As a journalist, what I know is Maghibi McGill uh, own property in Maghibi, he own a parcel of land in in lower Maghibi County 
and around what is called jungle farm. But the only valuable property he has on the land is his mother's grave that is valued at one hundred and seventy five thousand United States dollar by the investment he made to the parents. And he had now lady Maggie he had lived in Kingsville, our uh 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 view a community. So uh, just before this time he moved around the military barracks, uh, the uh, new buildings we constructed there and two he purchased one of them and he moved there and he had declared to confess in my giving. And there are different things happening here. Uh, the money inducement syndrome is what Maggie is using. Maggie has managed to lord a lot of people to him because of the inducement of money into the process. And recently he gave uh, the, a group of local uh, organized people working in the country of Steam here and 1.5 million Nigerian dollars. I don't know what the money intended for, but my giving a height, the second highest maternal mortality rate. About uh, very close to 15 women have died in childbirth just in this year. So I don't know, but he's trying to do all he can to induce uh, money in the process. But it's difficult because that the recent petition he had, he had to force uh, public school students. And I think in the front, front page, front page, he reported that he had to force public school students, most of the teenagers, to wear his political t-shirt to create the petition program. Even most of the people in question were bust from different locations in Pinsville and other parts to, 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 to have their own. And there have been different lines drawn. There is one line that has been drawn by uh, Senator Emmanuel Nukwe that in no way he supposed to give pay for the Senate in Magibi. There is another one being drawn by Tuporosa Tapuwe of Magibi District of uh -huh. that Magibi is not a dumping ground for criminals. Mm -hmm. So he will in no way support Magibi pay for the Senate. Another person who has signed a cavi, who signed a cavi is former Senator Clarice Jarrett. But to break the news on the class reload, and we've been told that she's negotiating, supporting McGill Bay for the Senate, just by distancing herself from <laughs> McGill involving into politics in the county. So it's still difficult to say as to whether well she, she will live by her word by according to. Uh, confidential sources close to McGill has said the former McGill senator Paris Da already negotiating for sale out of McGill, just as uh, former representative Saboni had done uh, to him. So the process is all, but there are there are different groups uh, resisting McGill in the county. He was guest speaker at a program, a public school program, Lago Lepe High School. Uh, there were a group of young people chanting uh, anti Magill's uh, slogan, Magill that rule, Magill that rule. And they were chunking him with water bears, uh, saying that he's a rule. He's Who a are they chunking with water bear? Uh, Magill, yeah, a group of young people uh, protesting when he served a guest speaker for the Dango Lake High School uh, on, uh, in, in, in late October. They were the talking. They were talking in car with water there and chanting that he's a rogue. He should leave the country. So there are different things happening here. And what what, what we are mentioning is Maguire is even currently constructing a radio station in the country and uh, to propagate his political messages because he wants to be a senator. According to what he told people, by all cost, he will be a senator. Of my TV county is something that is yet to be determined as to whether it's possible, but we'll wait to see as to whether or how the political actors and uh, other people will going to play it as it goes. But Maggie is having a lot of uh, meetings and appointments with people, church pastors, and some of the permanent church pastors in the county are secretly doing business with Maggie. Even a uh, U.S. green card holder who is a former managing director of the National Housing Authority, Prince Ray, 
the stage they're doing based on what they is the is now even constructing the radio station. Is it a guy they call Prince Anything Rare? Prince Anything Rare, yeah. He used to work with 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 our agency. He used to work with our agency later he got promoted. He was deputy for administration later he got promoted and managing the idol. Pia, you got any question for Emmanuel? Uh maybe so uh, uh he just mentioned prince prince wife is the representative for one of the districts in magibi so is she is she is she with her husband in the support for for magil Sabori, his long term senatorial ambition because he's been running for every election in Apple to be senator. He has finally ended with the advent of Miguel, you said? Yeah, according to what we heard, uh, what we heard, Sabori has said Miguel was supporting a bid for the Senate in the country. He has been one of the financial behind his senatorial support. So it means uh, if Sabori does not get an appointed position in government, he might let them get uh, uh, to go as district number one and uh, uh, aspire in, in district in, 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 in the district of power. So the, this is the current negotiation. If he does not have need to get appointment in government, it means that Magui had to negotiate with the CDC so Sabori become a consensus candidate to contest in district number one against Tapoe. Because he, Sabori, had given us his support, according to what we get so far to Magil. So if Magil is contesting as a senator now, it means he had to find an authority route. Is Tapoe a CDC representative or independent? Emmanuel, is Tapoe an independent representative or on the CDC ticket? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. And especially the first issue with the CDC came about in, in 2018, uh, in 2019, when the, the CDC were having a, a celebration of July 26, an elaborate event when fraud had taken over the lower Magibi that prevented people from traveling to the airports. So he condemned that the president should have canceled the independent celebration to uh, cater to the disaster situation in the district. And according to the then he has fallen an old where a lot of people will see the reign of the CDC. So Tabuwe is a CDC, but he disagreed on many occasions with some of the issues that are happening in the party. And with his disagreement against Matthew, it means that he might probably be he might probably be on his own because many people think Matthew still command a lot of influence and a lot of respect among the the the, the tradition. And my dear two people that unconditionally personal we are going to support him no matter what. But those sources are saying that he will not contest on the party speaking. For what reason we don't know, but he might have to be supported by the president and the party. So, yeah. in, in manner, one, 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 one final question for me. Um, where is Magay actually from? One report has it that he's from Bapolu. At one point, we thought he was going to contest in Bon County, and now we see he's in Magibi County. How do you, how do you reconcile? How how are Magibians reconciling that that, that yeah. Magay now is yeah. ending up with uh, Magay is originally from Bapolu, according to our investigation. If I cannot background is from Bapuru. His maternal background is from Bon. And but then being born, he was born in Lofa, but then because 
Oh wait, is it is it is it a scene area that he built the hut for his wife? No, no, it's not a scene area. Oh. Uh, he, the, the area he built the hut for his wife. He acquired that property in Marshall, but it's still disputed. He built disputed because a group of people say he took away their land, but it's still going to determine as to whether it's true that he fighting the kids because he be one of the senior member of the president cabinet by then. We didn't hear much about the disputes of running the land. But it's a land he acquired around the Marshall era the way he built that. Hmm. All right. Well, that's Emmanuel Degler all the way from Mikey County. Emmanuel, thank you for, for joining us. Uh, and I hope uh, you have a wonderful weekend. Thank you all so much. I wish you all guys a great time. Thank you. Next all right, Emmanuel. We'll thank you. We appreciate week. it. Thank you, Mo. Wow. So, Pia, yeah. you, 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 interesting. Yeah, yeah, we have to talk uh, about what Emmanuel said. Let me see if I can get another person. Yeah, interesting development there from, uh, from, from the county, especially Maggie B, where McGill is uh, running. First, you heard him talk about the rice situation. It's still alarming. People are still struggling to buy rice. They buy it at the same <clears throat> cost. It, it, it had, it has been since the, uh, the rice crisis. He talked about, the politics, how uh, the CDC current law, because against McGill running, they describe him as a as a as a as a criminal who has come to Maggie and want to to lead the people. And, and and one of the questions I asked was, you know, how are the ordinary Maggieans reacting? Because uh, there is a guy who is indicted by and sanctioned by the U.S. government for public corruption. So how come now he wants to use Maggie as the route to the legislature with the hope? That he can be shielded from whatsoever punishment that will await him uh, 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 once the new government takes over. So, what 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 are your thoughts, Pierre? You see, many people are not smart, and I think Emmanuel, when Emmanuel said, uh, "We are told that a U.S. green card holder in the name of blah 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 is supporting," he did that on purpose <laughs> because Miguel is on sanction. And, and and that sanction is that sanction uh, report is clear that there could be consequences for those doing business with um, with McGill. So if the fellow he mentioned uh, is a U.S. green card holder, as he said, and he openly comes out and decides to support McGibby, uh he could be undertaking some risk. The second thing is that some people are just not politically smart. So CDC had a candidate where his wife won. In fact, his wife was not a candidate. But he had been doing a lot of work uh, in the district at the time and wanted to be a candidate. He had to resign his job at the National Housing Authority. And I think along the way, after he calculated, he didn't see it then walked in to resign his job. He wanted to end the, the tenure with President Selly. But because of the work he has done, so he took his, his fiancé there, who is Honorable Ellen Atto Red. He took her there. CDC had Kennedy in the district. UP had Kennedy in the district. All the frontline party had Kennedy in the district. His fiancé ran on a party whose name was in obscurity. Mm -hmm. And she won because he had already done his job there, right? So it means the people saw CDC. 
The people in our district saw CDC, they saw the Union Party, they saw everybody. And that's where they went. You don't know why they did that. So all of a sudden, yes, you're not at the National Housing Authority again, which made you to allow your wife to run, your wife will need a second term, and you don't think that the best way for her to proceed is to identify with somebody who is criminally indicted by the U.S. And somebody for whom the U.S. has won, there will be consequences for poor doing business with. Mm -hmm. and that's where his calculation has taken him. And that's where the calculation of his wealth, I mean, listening to what Prince, I mean, Emmanuel said, maybe we got to hold it until there's a different thought. And then even his, his fiancé, or wife now, is opting to identify openly with a U.S. criminal indictee. Good old to her. It's good for people to take all these risks. For what? That you've been, you've been, you've been, you've been representative for five years now, going to your six years. If you have the desire for re-election, you should have been planning towards it yourself. Exactly. You can't depend on Maggie's stolen money. Maybe you need money for because he can't be the one to sell you in Maggie. You should even help him. Because you, you, you there, you had you have an election history there. So maybe it's for money. So you didn't raise some money for yourself in the last five years if you know you wanted to rerun and you think you can get some criminal money from my girl. So uh, there's a lot unfolding there, but it's a good thing that the likes of Emmanuel Nukwe or, or Tapoe and others are standing up. I want to hear where, where somebody like, um, like uh, David Mayanga stand, a very influential and respected citizen of Maggibi County. I want to know where he's where he stand. I will mind much about Sabali there, who's been flocked several times that he ran. Uh, Clarice was standing up for only one term and got flocked. Uh, I wouldn't be worried about about where she stand. But these are these are part of the, the problem many of the political institutions have. Um, I know when the Liberty Party had an issue the other time and they were looking for some, you know. Middle middle manager until things so I hope Clarice needs surfacing. Yeah, if you belong to an institution, and if the manual report is true, you negotiate. More you muted. If you trying to, if you trying to, if you have a caller, you muted. Go ahead. All right. So you 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 build, you got your party, and like the guy said, you're trying to cut deal behind the scene with somebody who comes from a party different from your party. So that that suggests if your party brings forth a candidate, you're not going to be supporting your party candidate because of a few dollars from uh, an indicted criminal, American criminal. So you know, strange things happen, and and sometimes when people, when the people take a decision, you wonder why it happened. There can be real basis. Now you get to understand why the people had to put Clarice or after just one term because perhaps the integrity is not there. If you will be going to Wood Lake McGill after being senator for nine years, go Wood Lake him for a few dollars, you know, to sell your country to him, knowing that he's not for your country. He had never been engaged with your country until his current desire to run. But that's why most of the people who've come, and that's why the, the legislature have been a, the most dirty and nasty place in our politics. Because so what would you have expected if somebody had ever succeeded along the way to be elected, based on what we just heard from Emmanuel? And Pierre, there's this message coming out of out of uh, out of our politics that we should all pay attention to. What? How come all of the the guys, the folks that are corrupt, heavily involved in acts that are that are counterproductive to the to the forward march of the country. How come all of them just won't go in the legislature? They think that they think they got they got some stupid imagination that they, they can be protected. They don't follow the history. They don't they don't they don't they don't think about the story of of of, of, of Roland Khan. And you think you can do evil, and then the legislature will protect you. You, it, it's, gonna, it, it's gonna provide cover for you. They are miscalculating. Let's just get a real leader. They got GMB elected. 
and let them be dreaming of themselves that hiding somewhere exactly. they'll be protected. They'll be shot. What if the legislature or the criminals? Because they're not criminals. Well, the following other example, Prince Johnson then killed people all over the place. He banned the legislature for I don't know 18 years or how many years down. So they, they, they think that that's how it works. Yeah. But let's wait and see. Ali, you got a comment? Nah. Hold on one second. I think Josh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. I, 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 I'm... Okay, so we had just book the call. I will talk to you. Bye bye. <laughs> hey, I'm on, the, I'm on the line with my with the ISP. I, I drove like a like a like a bandit running away from a bank robbery to get home. If I had any policeman had caught me, they were just taking the car right away and just say get down and because you you're not serious, you want to endanger people's lives. And then <laughs> get, it's I get it's here and, I'm, there away. and I'm paying for what what frustrates me the most is that I'm paying in this country. I'm paying for what they call fast internet. And that and it's it's just a scam. The whole thing is just a scam. A business side. Uh, they say they get something in, in the business, something they say caviar empty, buyer beware. I'm I, I, man, I'm too frustrated, man. If the way I if the, I tell you I left Oakville here, it's almost like coming from Corona from Corona to Monrovia. That's the distance I cover to get home. I'm Ali, you got you got anybody? You got wow. you got the correspondent? Um I've I will get called from Nima, but he's trying to get adjusted. Okay, good. So yeah, but let's hear from George. George, welcome. It's good to, to see you come come join us on Friday. Mm -hmm. Uh we've been talking about and I'm sure you've been following the conversation. Yeah, I'm following the little bit. So what's your what's your take on, on most of what we've we've covered already? All right, um, uh, at least the parts that I got. Uh, I remember you guys were initially talking about the, the issue of the, the 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 president not being in the country. And the complicity of the and the, the uselessness, the ineptitude of the legislature, like even Senator Dillon will always say. Um, I got one <laughs> radical view, I got one radical view about the legislative thing that you know people will say what, but I'll tell you something, guys. <laughs> if if I became president of the Republic of Liberia tomorrow, I'll tell you what I will do. I will I will nullify the entire legislature. I will go to my international community partners and I will explain to them and I'll come to the Liberian people and I will tell them the only way we can move this country forward is we have to we have to disband this whole place and start afresh. Those people, SJ, how many years now? They haven't been able to run water, run water, just run water for them to be able to flush Camo in, in that building and with all the monies they are collecting. And the reason why President we are will do what he's doing Forget about popular uprising or whatever. But if you had a legislature that was, that was mature, that believed in the people, that work in the interests of those who sent them there, there is no way Judge Ray will leave Liberia to go somewhere. For one more. There's no way. That, that for one, one more and plus. I'm telling you today. Because let me tell you something. Even if tomorrow Joseph Boga gets elected as president, if we don't become radical, and the way to do it is to be honest with the people and tell the people, look, I'm here for you. But this group of people are here, including people from my own party. They are all not completely in your favor. And the only way we can do it, we must radically do something. We Look, my man, we barricade that place. <laughs> we put those people outside. We yeah. shut that place down. They don't go there again. We abolish the constitution and we hold a new referendum and we hold ele elections. And this time we beg the people to vote for people who will come there and do their work. Because what is happening now is a scam. It's just like in, in Canada here, I'm paying all that money for fast internet and it's a complete scam. The same thing that's happened in Liberia. We're paying all the money for these people every month for their upkeep and their people upkeep and everything. And it's a complete scam. It's a scam because they do not believe in furthering the, 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 the interest of the, the poor people. They do not believe in working to improve the material well-being of the Liberian people. And let me tell you something. They have codified. They codified their salaries. It's law. Okay? You can't change it by, by desiring to change it. You have to be able to get two-thirds of them to agree. 
to change the exactly. to change. So, and, and guess what? And they sit, they are the oppressors of Liberia, even more than the president. Because if these people were doing their jobs, the executive will keep on their toes. But let me tell you something. They are the one who, they are wrecking that country. Few of them are good, but at the end of the day, the good are always swamped or uh, 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 overwhelmed because it's by the vote. The majority carries the day. Exactly. So even if Delon can stand up, he can get 10 person with him. They all stand up and make noise, as much noise as they want to make. How many senators we have? In Atete? Mm -hmm. you need okay, to... gentlemen, we have Franklin Dolokui on the line from Nima County. Who is it, Franklin? Franklin, you there? Hello. Yeah, good evening. Thank you very much. Welcome to the class, Reloaded. Thank you very much. Good evening. And 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 thank you for leaving your lay, jolly jolly area to talk to all for a few minutes. Yes. All right. So, um, Franklin, generally, what what's going on in Nima relative to the issue of rice, the president travel? We want to talk on this issue generally, but wanted to know first what's going on in Nima. How are the economic condition, the security, and other things? Well, for Ganta, you know, this is a city who very refers to, I want a, a city next to Mosulano, where the living condition here is very high and deep. According to the citizen, uh, or even those who get an entertainment area, they are there from business people, they are complaining that the buy rate is, is, is so is, is blue to that extent. A recent, uh, I spoke with some of those children that they refer to as three years, they too, they were some, some months back, they were complaining that the customer though is very low to that extent when they come on the street, it's very hard for them to receive their lives, they can apply their, their customer. And so, they, wait, 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 let me ask you something. So that info was actually true. Yeah, he reported it on the show. Recording a date interview with them, but actually, they said, uh, the president some months back, President Dr. Street Boss, which he referred to as Zuko, all disadvantaged young people, and he referred to as Zuko, they, they empowered them, president gave them money, but they to even though they're not developed for business, they're not using a developed or maybe recognized by national government. But while the president empowers the other group, which was to empower them. So some of them said they, they have they, they have rentals to pay and that uh, they are not giving a hard time. For that M2, uh, who went to district number four representative Gopu Cargo, mm. he arrived he arrived today in Kanta. Mm. It was very colorful. And he there was so huge you will see the balance. A huge number to receive him both for a district and even those are living in Ghana. So, where he came from, they asked such a welcoming ceremony for him. Yeah, the North Mugu have been accused that he have gone in Dubai and no one to suspect or arrest him for the counterfeit. But he went to the person when he's continuing coming. It will say he brought counterfeit, but he went to the person that when they said there was no way for the people to see counterfeit. With him, so in the balance, meaning those are from a district and those are living here, including his business partner, they are giving themselves to allow themselves to welcome him. Well, he also came in a person, so they have an event here today in Canada and we care for them. So, like I said, the living condition is very nice. But early this morning, uh, Senator Jeremiah, who has come out. To openly accuse President George Manley, we are where he expressed disappointment and frustration. That all oh, oh, the way Nima people are looking at and saying he and Senator Johnson, they have come out and they are agreed. So when you appear on the local radio and say they are disappointed, you mean they are unhappy with President George Manley, we are the way the country is growing. We are even in the balance, they are not there to really uh, benefit from President We are leadership. In terms of appointment, so unhappy uh, particularly uh, about what appointment, the economic yeah, condition in yeah, the county, and what appointment in, in, in government. The Nima, the only one, me, 
minister, which is uh, from the minister of post and telecommunication. That's another. Yeah, Kupo Kwa. I've been set for Nima Pilotor. Even Nima Nasarika, you see Nima Men, there, Tegna, Minister of Post and Telecom. Even though the former minister that the federal knocker passed out a few days ago, and again, uh, those from this area that will be pulling this district number eight. We have about 10 percent down a few days ago, where uh, eight percent down for the time of Zambui. Mm. Yeah, okay, I know Zambui. What, what we'll come back to this before we before we go over there. We'll come there. It's a human interest to report. Um, we are interested in in knowing the public is interested in knowing what what are some of the particular things that Senator Kun said. The first thing is that when you appear on the local resolution first of Gompa, yeah, where all the registration here in in, in numbers, the video, I mean the video is 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 interview or play, mm -hmm. or video number instead of play video same way, can play, then yeah, video type it down or video separate TV, video camera, video select over, on FN and all the registration here, the senator have come out to say he. This is the thing is coming from he and Senator Prince Johnson. That Nimbalians, including they, they are unhappy with President George Malenga. Meaning that they are, they are expressing disappointment and frustration in Malen, which they didn't continue to do. You know, in Canada, they even have their history here in Canada. Since they are the present, President, we are in Syria to address them, their history, and write a full number of feet. The Senator also said, the living condition of Nimbalians is very hard. It's mean they are, it's, it's, they, are, they are living in a deplorable condition. It's very hard for them to even get the money, even basically committed to be continuing. And again, Nimbalians, they have been employed in President George Malen, we are leadership. Oh. Meanwhile, Senator Chair Michael also announced that we seek or the empowerment of young people, meaning we provide jobs there, agriculture, and begin here. Yeah, also, now that shortly you'll be bringing over 200 model bags to be to distribute to the young people that will be riding a model bag. But what we wait, 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 he, he's giving it to them free to ride, or no, they will ride and pay no, to him. Not free to ride, he said, will be paying either 500 or 700 per day. Be oh, so they will write and report to him. Yeah, they will write and report. They will set up a committee. But the question is, here in Nima County, most of the children they are not going to school. Some of them they are riding mulubo. So I mean, the school going to children, most of them they going to abandon school to go ride mulubo to get money. Here. You have a exactly. A good man, you have a good man there. Good people coming from there. They say, oh my man, we getting rich from that place. So those are in school. They say, my man. Let go in put in there. What is doing? So let me go do my whole man in the southeast. That what they have been shot. They're going to experience it. So, it what, what are you trying to say? In essence, instead of investing in uh, these young people going to school, they are the rather frustrating part. Yeah, in Nima, they don't have vocational school here. They don't have vocational school. So, all that we're saying, you have the interview to your people, they're calling, even we have press conference. But this is only a way to empower young people because up to present you have international community coming out and say, Oh, would you go right? Even though one with the other, you are happy. But that's a mean that you are being involved with some skill training that at the end tomorrow going to empower you. But when you go, you're not be right, would you for your lifetime? But those representative centers here in the market, they're not taking on that direction. It is only one representative, a large number of this in the market. I have the I call your fans sometimes with the vocational school, I mean of vacation. He along with some many Kuma grant is in one representative. Where spent on the gang where to go look for some more work to do for you want them to pay their fees. Well, okay. so vocational school, they don't have no vocational school here in Lima County. All right, so so let's go back to that ten persons that die. What well, was the, the cost? Person, the ten person to die from or the same just number eight, but there's a town called it's not quick work, yeah, right? It's a great Yeah, no yeah, quick work. Uh, this 30 years old man, his name was Thompson D. Thompson D. have gone to, you know, someone where you need a town to make 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 a town to
All right, Franklin, Franklin, that comes to other issues. Yeah, we, we, we get that human story. It's sad. We want to say sympathy to the families of uh, those who lost their life, both from the mob action and the drowning. But let, 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 let's come to other issues. Uh, where, where, which part of Nima are you talking to us from? Anta. We call it Nima are you talking to us from? Anta. No, I want to be sure that the man can hear me, so don't read me. I want. If he answers me, then I know he hear me. Yeah, what I'm asking you, where are you talking from now? Ganta. Ganta. All right. Uh, how 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 the people in Ganta are responding to the fact that their president left the country for for the eight days, and it took. Taxpayer money, 1.5 million to to finance his trip for the 48 days. Well, they are very much with us because therefore they they will not acknowledge about the present tour. It was uh Reverend Larry John who had a press conference in Moreover that all will have crisis while the president should leave and all the person we stay out. So for now, ten. Yeah, there are mixed reaction here. All I'm saying is the person time, you don't have time for them. All I'm saying, oh, but the person to have is right to travel. 
so they are the next reaction. But the frustrating part here is that those that uh, when they get to get to their same money, no matter what they say, they might go to a standstill on ground that some of them transfer themselves and they can not have that to work with leaders, but at the end result, they are near them to be tested. So at the end result, they are saying, they need money, they will, no matter they will come to a stand, so they will care, they will go to care on massive demonstration. It's not only they alone, they have, you know, they have the dentist experience, they can say, people from the other aggrieved party, they have a mass meeting here, <laughs> where Seku, Sanlu, and with other chiefs, they are very poorly on their brother, their grief, finally, from the other, I mean, their grief, young people from the other party. What they've been saying that they want to, they want, they, they are calling on a chief head of Nima, and they should teaching themselves for them, then they feel they have a music, well, when they play the music, for example, we are a government, no, what to do the music. But they too say, who stand up and agree, they are saying no. This land this we don't want for it to be bloody. So you don't give her a chance. We still interview to come out with concrete results. But one of the recommendations they have to do with the young people they also accuse the internet affair minister Mr. Vani A said it. That we must early twenty thirty time who is uh she the former president, early twenty thirty up the person, but yes, they are not being able to address any land dispute. Here in Ganda, so they are calling on President George Mane we are to bring in neutral person, uh, uh, maybe a human right or a lawyer that will be neutral, that will be able to really address the their issue. And the same the issue when Senator Jai Malcolm was on the double reason this morning, he also said the way the body have been treated by President George Mane we are. It's in the best interest. Do I say even in the this view of the person, person, we are not able to really address the fact of those. Yeah, okay. You, 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 you Franklin. Franklin. Yeah, Franklin. 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 Yeah, hold on. Ask yeah, hold on, hold on. You said that earlier. Jeremiah Kuhn said he expressed disappointment. Now, if there's additional thing I want to know about that. Did he make any threat to President We are about election or just expressing disappointment of going on? Or what did he say? Yeah, Is there anything they're going to do? Uh, you know, Nima will not be here to really support President We are talking about him. On ground that the living condition of Nima is very poor. He said that? He said Nima will not be here to support President We are second term? They are, they are disappointed in the present meeting. They are unhappy. See, they are not happy with the President. Meaning that they are unhappy with the president. So they, they may meet Nimale, they will already be happy to support President George Mane. We are on ground that the first thing he said was that in Biden, they are not in government. That is of easy enough. They are in President George Mane. We are government. But the number of Nimale that are in government is less compared to other people that are from, from other countries. But he said, Nima they are unhappy. He said, he and Senator Johnson, they met, and that is still when he came up with that in Berlin, they are unhappy with President George Mallet. We are. All right, frankly, um, I want us to leave it there. We have uh, our reporter from Sino, we need to talk to too. Franklin, thank you. Um, we hope we can get you. Yeah, thank you, Franklin. Franklin, to to please. Thanks for from, the update. Uh, Nima yeah, County. Please. Yeah, I wanted to cross off the message from Franklin right. because it's, it's one thing to say you're disappointed is I wanted to say because of I'm a disappointment, this is what we'll do to you. Right, Georgie? Yeah, but Pia, you know, you, you know the people that just doing no threat to, to get to attention. Kajou, to Kajou, we have to get them some attention and get them some exactly. But no, Pia, he said that he said, he said the senator said um the he wait the, the the Nimbians will find it difficult to support him to support President We are for his second term. He said that's what the senator said on the radio. But he gotta be the senator, gotta talk it for put the book and realize exactly. that you know and, and, and he gotta guard the foot. I don't trust any other no, because he, yeah, because the whole thing about hey, if those people will continue being sheep, let them continue being sheep. It's as simple as that. Let me tell you something: the Liberian government under Talbot established Lamco. They did not think about putting 
or vocational training institution in Nima County to create the, the, the pool, the skill pool that Lamco will draw from for for fitters, welders. Uh, you, you understand what I'm saying now? Yeah. Plan, plan support people uh, uh, because those those rollers and machines and everything keep breaking down that, that production. So what will happen? The poor will bring people from Germany to do those. They'll bring mechanics from Germany to do the work instead of raising the local pool. So they build economic enclaves. It only didn't happen in Nima County. It happened from the day they signed the, the for 56 when they signed the capital steel contract. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and they, 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 uh, um, when they, when they started with uh, the one in Manarewa, that if I think Manarewa was the first one, if, if I'm not making a mistake. And then from there, bombing. And so from, from the, 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 the <clears throat> inception of Liberia, Stephen, it has never been the mindset of those in government to fully look and see how they will benefit their people, you know, in a holistic manner, not just a by war and a hissing. Like if they manage it, that a hey, if they can make it, we just throw small to them. Yeah. It's not restricted to. A All right, Josh. Um, we have we have go to look. No, man, let me learn my point. Let me finish my point. That a person with small bar. Oh, no, Josh. We got no, people from the county. No, 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 no problem, my man. Hey, the morning can be where? All right, you go ahead. Botulu Mawolo is a journalist from Lofa County. Botulu, thank you for taking our call and welcome to the class reloaded. Thank you, Mo. Let me say thank you to the team and good evening to the Labrador people. Well, um, generally we we are we are having updates um from uh, the counties on general issues relative to the food crisis the president's 48 day travel using 1.5 million dollars in general security condition in the county and other things that people are talking about so we first like to start off with uh, the food issue um the rice crisis how is it like in lufana well i i what i can simply say generally in lufa I, this is the harvest season, so Lufians, especially those who made their farms, are already harvesting. And uh, so the issue of rice, though uh, people are still buying, uh, but it kind of reduced it here a little bit. Unlike uh, a few weeks ago, uh, things were completely tough, people were not harvesting yet. But for now, it has reduced a little bit. You go to towns and villages, farmers are busy harvesting their rice already. So that's what happening here. But uh, even on the market, because not everyone doing this farming thing, so on the market, we still have rice coming from Guinea, we still have rice coming from Sierra Leone. And that's why uh, the prices are a little bit different. Uh, you can see the 50 kg bag, which normally you don't see here when we have a rice from Ovovia. So the 50 kg is still around $6,000. Based on the price, some will tell you six thousand three hundred, some will tell you six thousand five hundred, and it's still have a, a small bag to that have a bit twenty five kg, which is around three thousand five, three thousand three hundred, somewhere around there, based on how uh, the person bought it. So the issue of rice, you know. Uh, so what's the cost for the locally produced rice? The locally produced rice, you have a kilo around. Like today was Friday. Today is Friday. Yeah. The market. Uh, yeah, it was around eighty dollars, ninety dollars. You know? All right. So, so for the listening audience, how many cups? The salmon cup in the kilo. Uh, it's approximately two. Two salmon yeah. cup. And it's around yeah, eighty, and eighty dollars. So, you're talking basically about thirty, thirty-five dollars since you have two and a half salmon cup. Yeah, that's why. Mm. That's why we look at it. Uh, yeah, those who. I think we need to come to Lofa to start buying country rice now. <laughs> so that's what people are doing. So, I mean, buying country rice is a little cheaper, $80, somewhere $90, somewhere around there. So, uh, 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 Maolo, let me ask you a question. Okay. Oh. Let me let me move towards uh, politics a little bit. Uh, uh, we saw that uh, there was a there was an interview where the, the, uh, the current senator, um, Jala, Jala had an interview in which he had told the Lofa people that uh, 
he was not a sedition. And, and in fact, he, he was a member of the LPP. Um, few, few hours after he was announced senator by the National Elections Commission, we saw that he joined the CDC. Mm -hmm. How are Europeans reacting to that? It's running a little bit fast. So more All right, now, so his question is, um, before the election, if I got him right, uh, Jada said he was a member of the, C, uh, the LPP, the Liberian People's Party, and he was elected as an independent candidate. But a few hours after his announcement or days, uh, he went and officially joined the CDC during the red, red, uh, red the red. How are the people reacting to that in Lofa? Well, there were mixed reactions. Okay. All right. Particularly, uh, there were some who said, Jala by himself, tried several times, you know, contesting, but couldn't make it. And then I do him when as independent, but being heavily backed by the ruling establishment, the CDC. So I many thought that, that would be a way to appreciate the CDC by crossing over, you know, a few hours after he was declared winner of the by election. And uh, some others saw it like, you know, uh, disappointment, especially those who supported him because he was an independent candidate and then they supported him based on his ideology, based on, you know, the, 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 the promises, the platform he had, and then to have been voted on short basis. And the next day, you know, you cross over to, 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 to the CDC. Let me, on the platform on which you were voted on, how are you going to work on that? Because the people trusted you based on that. CDC is a political party. And then uh, based maybe on their own view, they look at the entire election process and they decided not to feed the candidate. So why would they vote for you in the next few hours, you just cross over to the party? So the reactions were there and some say he had no option. Uh, in fact, it was, it was like a form. Some say he was kind of looking like you were forced to do what he did uh, some way, somehow that I, I, you try this thing over and over, you couldn't make it this time around. We make it happy, we make it possible. And in fact, some said, because of the, 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 the complaint, the unit of the party was kind of talking about taking Jala to court, how could his stand, uh, the CDC stand by him? If the unit of the party would go to court, who would defend him to fight the case and other things? So he needed to do that to get the protection of the, 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 the government. So that even if the United Party goes to court, you will have a strong political party backing him to go through the court process. So these were some of the views, you know, that came up from the public. And uh, that has been laid to rest ever since, in a way. All right. So you are on the radio. Um, you know, the president a few days ago traveled from the country, uh, according to executive mansion release, for one month and a half. And that is unprecedented in Liberian history. Uh, you know, the CDC likes to use this unprecedented thing. And they are using a little over 1.5 million US dollars. Has this new hit, hit LOFA? And what is the reaction of the people? Well, unlike uh, forums and other places, it has not been taken at the level of the media where you have the views of the people and to know what exactly are the people saying. It has been discussed at very in the, um, say intellectual forums. Sometimes they get around to see people discussing it. Similarly, you know, this is where you still have people defending and you still have people raising those critical concerns, especially the current state of the country. You have people complaining issue of food, especially for those who are in the capital of the Umbar area, you know, the kind of challenges people go going through. Up to now, the crisis are still ongoing and the president is leaving for those number of days and the task years money, these are all concerns that others will be raising. And you still have people defending, you know, that, I mean, as a president, is moving with delegates, and uh, there are a lot of responsibilities that we have to cater to, so you will not expect to go empty-handed. So the views, like I said, you will have people defending, you have people condemning and criticizing. So that's how it has always been like. Yeah, you got any questions for both of you? Not really, not really. All right, Bukulu. Um, um, the last question I wanted to ask, the last time I was coming from Lofa, the road between Zozo and Bonjama was very terrible. 
How is it like now? What can happen? And in fact, it's, it's, it's kind of affecting even the GSM companies like the US bank. We noticed that uh, in the past few days, you know, it's been on and off. Currently, as we speak, we spoke with the technicians here. They are just managing to, to run their generator, especially in the capital Bonjama here. A few tin, a few gallons, a few for like a few hours after their batteries get little little current, you know, kind of pull up the machine. They are facing challenges because their tanker can actually pass through, you know, the bar road to end up on Jama. So they are gonna see what challenge. Well, the tanker is a big, it's a big stuff. What's about the normal vehicles? The normal vehicle, no, it's still not possible. You know, people are still trying, but it's still difficult. Yeah, the last time we saw few of them try the last last night. We saw a few trucks try to go, but we got we got information that it got stuck again on the on the highway. We couldn't go. So what are the subsidiaries today? We need to follow up to know if we ever subsidiary in passion. But it's still difficult in passion too. What's about between Bonjama and, and Foya? Yeah, between Bonjama and Foya is possible. You can make it go there, vehicles are going and coming, motorbikes are going and coming. But for between Bonjama and that of Luyema, particularly that's the main terrible point of our road. All right. Bonjama and Luyema. Okay, Buturu, thank you for taking up your time to talk to the people. We appreciate it. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Buturu. It's a pleasure talking to you. And uh, do have a wonderful weekend. So let's go back to you, George. You're, you're talking until... Um, <clears throat> you listen to the caller um, and you... You know, you, you hear him talk about turning issues in so, so our, our main target when George finishes, our main target today was both to take calls from the, the correspondent in the county and allow our callers to call more within two hours. So I just wanted to remind us that. Yeah, right after George, right after George finished, would you open the lines or we? All right. Um, yeah, I, I've kind of lost my train of thought. But anyway, <laughs> no, you're talking okay. about the Lamco stuff. Yeah, I'll go back. I'll go back first. I'll come to Lamco. Let me man, go. You're, me go you're, you're, you're a veteran, man. You get lost thought. Don't do no, that. No, I, 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 I lost my train of thought. Anyway, the uh, the issue of vocational training in Liberia has been a problem, and it's it's been mainly centered around Montserrado County. For a long time now, maybe Grand a little bit, but it's it, it, it's not only about vocational training; it's about our whole education outlook. You know, because we for a long time we stopped defining the goals that we want to achieve. You know, through our educational initiatives, um. And we're sitting down right now, other countries are going ahead because they are looking at the world, they are looking at global trends, and they are adjusting, they are recalibrating the systems to be able to meet the critical needs. And for us, we still passing out students out of high school who are barely literate. And even giving people university degree who are also very barely, barely, barely literate. And at the end of the day, what it does, it affects the nation. It affects our developmental outlook because we need human capital to be able to move and develop. Now, let's come back to where I was before regarding the whole issue of the national legislature. One of the reasons, I'll give you a common example, Edwin Snow. Edwin Snow has been in that place from the very onset up to now. And Edwin Snow have championed nothing yeah. on, the on the national scale for Liberia. He has voiced nothing. The only thing he's interested in is interest, making deals. When somebody in trouble, he go, he go, you know, do mango mango behind the scene to help the person. That's all Edwin Snow has been there for, just making deals. A typical Masonic mindset, all right? <laughs> not not to benefit the majority, but only to benefit the the fraternity. Is that mindset that he has, and it, it, it shows in everything he does. Uh, it's all about deals. And it's not only restricted to Edwin Snow. The reason why I bring it up is because his being his tenure in the national, his continued tenure in the national legislature is a national disgrace, is a travesty, is, a, is an embarrassment. For you to have a man who went from being representative to representative to senator 
and he hasn't really championed any bill. Look at the, the issue the guy raised about uh, vocational training. Nibak, we they, they emptied our entire mind over there. Even Ashley Meta came, and they are still working. And the government had never said, hey, we want to partner with you. Let's open a vocational training center here that will create a, 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 a bring pool of skilled labor, labor that can work in any uh, 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 manufacturing, extractive industry in Liberia, including oil that will come on later on. Nothing. Everybody's sleeping because you have a national legislature that is only self-absorbed. They only look towards themselves. They don't. They don't care about the national. It's so bad, bro, that these people cannot even sit amongst themselves and say what it will cost us to put towers up in the yard to make sure that the building has running water, and and, and to buy two, three tankers a day of 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 water. In fact, you know what? Let's just call it short. We buy two tankers ourselves. Okay, we we'll buy with our, with our our own allotment. We buy two tankers ourselves. You, you understand what I'm saying now? We so we don't have to be paying any vendor. We buy two tankers ourselves, and we we we, we will uh, uh, um, allocate money for fuel and maintenance of these vehicles, so that it can go and haul water. Send the government not able to bring water, pipe water into the building because the national disgrace. Imagine, bro, somebody coming from abroad going to the speaker's bathroom. Come be the speaker. Go to the speaker bathroom. Yeah. Then he got to, then he got to, when he finished doing his do, then he got to use cup and pan to dip, to flush. I mean, it, 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 it's been going on for a very long time and nobody seems <clears throat> embarrassed by this and nobody really cares about it. Look, let me just say this, right? We we have, like I said the last time here, we have a car ball who hasn't really graduated to the place of being driver, driving the truck. And Liberia is the proverbial truck. You, 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 and, and, and Uncle Joe say you don't give a, 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 a man's job to boys and they get offended. But the typical example, your country is in turmoil. It, it, it's almost like saying room is burning while mirror fiddles. That what happening here. Liberia is on fire. Our people are struggling to even feed themselves. Just imagine, it's, uh, 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 guys. Those who can afford a little bit, fine. But look, bro, I remember when I worked in Banga. There were children I used to give money to. Let me tell you what I used to see. Before my office, they always used to pass. The children would come from school and go home. They live up somewhere in the back after the, the school, the public school there, somewhere way back. I never followed them. I, will have, I, I regretted why I didn't put them in the car one time, one day to drive to go see. But somebody told me, say, oh, they're coming from far off. Those children would come. Yeah. Pass, go drop their, their things and pick up rotten chair to come go sell it in the market. I'm talking about children barely in their teens to sell it in the market and then bring money with that money, buy rice, cup of rice or something to come go cook. Let me say this right now. In, in most of my half of my the, the portion of my salary I, I kept to, to use half of it, the portion of the salary I kept to use back home, back in Banga to live. Half of it went to blessing people. I'm telling you the reality here. I will buy rice. I will buy this coming, put it in the car and bring it just to be your blessed families. Yeah. So just imagine, bro, I'm telling you today, the kind of grinding poverty that has afflicted lives in Monrovia, it's not easy. It's not easy. And one of the worst things about it is this. We have no plan to address these things. We have a national legislature that sits there and allow our errant president and allow an inept president and allow a very, 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 very foolish president because only a foolish president will abandon his country with the mind of going out of the country for continuously, right? God, SJ, let me be honest with you. Wisdom says, go a little bit, come. After one week at home, you can go again for another one week, you can. After one week, you can go again for another one week. There'll be people will talk, but at least it'll be better. I know. For you to abandon your duty post for over a month just to go jolly jolly. Yeah, it's sad. Without any net gain to the country is a travesty. It is preposterous. And let me let me say this to you: God, posterity will not look well on George Weah. Thank you, thank you, George Ali. Uh, so we can go to the lines. Uh, Pia, if you're there, uh, we're opening the phone lines. 
Uh, the numbers to call, uh, if you're local, we have a cell call number. It's 777 That's 777 If you're overseas, the number is uh, plus 401-688-8266. So we'll open the lines. You guys can call uh, a minute each, please. Uh, let's so that we can have as many persons as we can uh, participating. Are you sure? All right. Okay. Okay. So we have our first caller on the line from Ganta. Your name? Yeah. I'm Mami AK. Okay. Go ahead. I'm calling from Ganta. Yep. Mommy, thank you for Yeah, go ahead, Suya. Yeah. You know, we in Ganto here, yeah, we suffer. Mm -hmm. We said we make our businesses, we make them bad for us. Our person is not thinking on our own. Then he can take our country money. He can't go to the football day in our country. So, so. We said in our year, we can go to our money. Mm hmm. We go buy our goods in Marusa. Then when we break it, we will open the market. Nobody will buy, we will sell for in the morning to in the evening. Nobody will buy for us. Mommy, why you think people are not buying? Mm -hmm. Mommy, just listen to all through the phone. Start listening to the to the something. Yeah, okay. The reason people are not buying is. Uh -huh. They get the money in a packet. They don't want to, 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 to get the money out. They say they say new money. We can't see the new money. So, so, writing money we get in the country. Writing money, oh, papa, that writing money. That imagine we got children, we got what children, we married, we got what children, we got family. Can you imagine when you get, you the light in the family. Then, all the children when they in Chile, we can't live with you from your husband's side, from your parents' side. Everybody looking up to you and your husband. Then it might see my brother, her things looking like in Ganto here. We will go sell the whole day, we'll come from there, we are eating here. The children will be looking up to us. Now the children are going to school. We don't even get a certain uh, 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 registration fee here to pay for our children to enter school. We just beg it the school to, to allow our children so we can find money to, to, to pay school fee. It's not right. They are our president taking our money, going to go to go win a football game, get yeah, DSTV, you want to win a football game on it. That's why you trying to tell us. Yeah? They, then you say you get a country at heart. Then you don't have the celebrity at heart. So the celebrity won't put it there to become president. Then you leave the celebrity. You don't get time when the second you go there, you got. If you do all that, but they can really feel some of us. They can feel some of us. Because I was surprised when I was going to say the president of Korea to go child to go with a football team. Football game? Why is why when they play football game? They are not get time for it. Eh? Oh, Ali. He said we buy it. No, I didn't listen to the program yet. Yeah. What are we doing on the internet? So, mommy, mommy, how are you listening to the show tonight? I was listening to you. They were helping me. My friend was reporting. You listening on the radio or you on Facebook? Uh, I listen to the radio. Oh. The parents are there. I listen to Frankie through the radio. I can play the radio in my room. Oh, okay. All right, mommy. Thank you so much for listening. And That's uh, good. I just wanted to know what are the radio stations really making impact. That's good. Thank you.
That was good. Yes, thank you, sir. Uh, thank you. Wow. Hello, caller. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much for the show. You see, uh, the country we in is a country that carries a bad war. First of all, I think you got up there to be educating us. You have to do it for us, not merely for you people. If we give this thing, or if we not get here to year, at least they will get out to see and we'll know why it's going on. But what happened is that we have come to have a capital shop, like the Malasari D, the Nibari D. I used to say two, three days. And people, the money used to flow on me. I even used to help other people. But today, that teaching city is no swimming in my shop. In no way. At least, let the Ministry of Education take a survey within the county. And yeah, we have many schools that need up here. They're dead. They're on top of us. Sometimes we can't get anything with the county. We should pay that. Pay that. Why are you getting that? I should pay that. And we put them in the city and pay for it. They won't beat you. They won't beat you to take your things and, you know, things away. So, we think that. You, you, you do your survey, how many or, or schools that get public school, you check how many students are put in your class, you can't, then you give all contracts that they, they have here, or the debt will fix it, that are all making operate. Or better, when you come here, when you come to Basel, if you see the computer shop, I think they are, they are, they are should know Gosso, I'm living Gosso. But we see these people, but we see they have a lot of politicians, so they give up a bad job, they do the politicians, or when you work again, they start you because it's in the red but for me, I told you, I said, don't follow me. But why is that? I will say, hey, if you follow me, you will be living behind. Because I think I'm working, not because I, I'm working. So when other people not I'm, I'm working, then other people will say, no. I alone working. Other people not say, I'm paying for other people too. So these are the things that are going on. But not because you give me one or two of contract, then you expect me to pay tax. And so you just tell that I'm going to pay. Then you know you will be killing me. All right, Chief. Thank, thank, thank you a lot. Let me take the next call off. Hello there. Good evening, brother. Good evening, your name and where are you calling from? My name is D. Richard Arthur, and I call from Ganta, Nina County. Thank you. Go ahead. Thank you for the show. My brother, the Bible says when wicked people are in authority, the country suffers. Let me do what all now. This is what we are experiencing in this country. The president and his surrounding are the ones that are suffering the common people. They are just telling liberal people they made a mistake by giving the power to them. So look at what the president is doing with all the things that are surrounding the country right now. The controversial sensor issue is, is hanging around. Mm. People mm. cry. Other people are planning to demonstrate that they will, be, they will not allow people to count them because of XYZ. All kind of things are running the country right now. And the president is traveling from country to country just go jolly jolly. Mm. They just mm. telling the Liberian people that you don't get it. Then you may all, you you, may, you give leadership to us. Just do that. You finish. <laughs> all right. I, I, saw, I saw some people. I saw some people today mm. that some of you that are killing yourself for president. We are here. I'm thinking all over here. You're gonna care for him. All his own. He has set record. He finish. For me, one thing I know about uh, uh, Mr. We are. All his rebel that he has said, I just want to want everything one one. So he doesn't care what he's voting out, he gone. All he wanted was to set record, he has set a record. <laughs> what man, the man wanted one time. He begins to set up one time. President, every one time, he, he cares. <laughs> Thank you, Chief. <laughs> let me take this yeah. one here, then we'll come to you. <laughs> More, let, 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 let keep the schedule. Three, two, three, two. But go ahead, say if you take Yeah, that's just the one. Hello there. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. I am UJ Utah from the channel Grand Basel County. Yeah, it's a, you are a very regular caller now. Yeah, thank you for the recognition. You know, there's a pastor epigram that says, when a leper is down in the town, you will see the deer, the foreign dog, and all the animals being dropped in for years. What am I trying to say? 
I don't want all the ways I will tell, oh, man, I'm not doing my kill. What are they in doubt here? Who says you have a place on? The only thing for me, I'm praying on now here, is that the ticket should be established. When the ticket is established, we will have all of our representatives and electoral candidates with the clear message. And we'll begin to move in the rural counties, in the districts, in the street corner. The, the, the way the people will change. Those people are jumping from here and there all because we are now totally coming with our ticket and then get all of our people set. But now, let me be clear that we have our people that we are working with. We are not working for the town. The program as well, we are making sure to recapture 85, 83, 82, and then we we'll move on. And no doubt about it. The Liberal Party is prepared to work with any leg money for the institution of the United Party. Thank you very much for having me on the show tonight. Thank you. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, thank you. Call on the line from the U.S. Go ahead. Good evening to my amazing panelists. My name is Ernest Danos Virginia, so from the U.S. Yeah. I'm supposed to just reaffirm the corruption and selfishness have the tendency to impair people's analytical ability. It is so sickening that men who are supposed to have integrity and common sense, page one, we stay in an office building that does not have running water. It is just ordinary. I was just having a discussion with one of my kids, and I told him where I'm building a spirit building. The kid is less than 20 years old, but he just told me that we don't have to bother about digging where anymore. We can just hire somebody to do a boring hole, and we put centers up water in the building. So common sense page one to tell our lefty listeners that they just need to go to the technical school on the Somalia track, go to MVPC or go to all the technical school around. So like some Liberian guy who are into plumbing, pay them some handsome money, and they can come and install what the Nigerian called Boho and the disgrace of having a capital building will cost quite boring running water will kind of uh, be passing over the librarian from this day. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, uh, uh. Connor from Florida, go ahead, make your point. Yes, uh, my name is Kenneth Harris. I'm calling from. Where well, it's Florida, you see, but flowing from Seattle, Washington. Yeah, uh, you know, my man. When I keep listening to Joe, we are traveling out of Liberia for a month, and everybody tried to make it with the fear of doing that. Joe, we are first time doing it. I remember when Joe, we are just to power. I can still remember that. He did a very first thing when he traveled out of the country to go see his son. At the time, his son was naked on the U.S. is national thing. This is something that he continues to do. This is something that he never going to stop. So what I hear people talking about is, yes, if to say this is Joe, we are first time going to do it. Is that Joe, we are one time to dance, is that dance? Is that Joe, we are one time to sing a song? Is that Joe, we are one time to learn and steal? So what I hear people say all the things that they don't get confused. You're not going to stop anything like the person said. You just want to serve it long term and get our history set. So, the next one I so want to say, before you go to the I next can, one, before you go to the yeah. next one, so are you suggesting that so anything we are done, we just keep quiet and be, and be clapping for him? We should not complain about it, right? No, we just have to say, but I get trying to bring you that this is not a first time bringing it. That is a that is a history of our repeating things over and over. Okay, make your second that point. Make your second okay. point. And then the next one has to do with I'm looking at the election in Liberia. I don't know how to run election in Liberia. Uh, I'll do well with the post office in Latin America. I keep delivering because there is election in Seattle. I keep delivering battle election battle papers to people, and I go and pick the battle paper on and deliver it. I don't know does it work in Liberia that way that people, that somebody can they can schedule like for the teachers in America here, right? 
um, they want to schedule, they want to run a campaign or whatsoever. They come at the post of this, make sure all of the battle papers that they want to, the political parties that they want to throw out. If we don't approve it, you can't just go to anybody for it and place a paper on somebody's wall. Because that alone benefit the post office too. So can Liberia do the same that every politician should go through the post office in Liberia to make sure they deliver all of the, the campaign papers? That alone will not be there for the people. I just wanted to make that suggestion. So in America, the post office, uh, and not just the post office, every system here tried to be except for late when certain questions were in part, they try to be non-political. You do that in Liberia, once, once CDC men sitting down to the post office. You would take all the people you had it. Yeah, I don't know how it's going to work, but thank you. Thank Go you, Pia. Can I take this call on? Yeah. Go ahead, sir, from Lofa. Yeah, I said, this is Joseph Kaba. I call him from Lofa, Foya District. So how are you listening to the program in Foya? Oh, I can always... Struggle to at least get my 200 hours to buy my strike card to get on, 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 on social media. I can always follow you on social media. Thank you. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, I want to thank you guys so much for this program. For some of us who are really praying to see this country on the best level. Because if you look at this, this country right now, where we have gone to is very, very bad. If you talk about the economy, the, the the beauty of this country, everything this government has broken, everything down. For some of us who are at least struggling to at least do our business, if you look at our road today, it's, 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 it's nowhere that we can use to go to our city. Today, we want to go to Morovia Water Park, choose right on well. Every time we pass in there, people have to mock at all. They talk to us, but yesterday we can say manage to go to town because we want to keep going. But if you pay your way to go to Morva again, you go your battle goods to come. You come, you send like tomorrow is Saturday. You go spend the whole day in the market. We even sell one thousand dollars, it will not be easy because no money in the country. The only time you see money in for like for us in for when ATM machine is in for air, which is Tomo Fala when it comes. Yeah, when you come, that's the only time you see new money in the market. You see new mon money in, 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 in some people and few people hand. I can tell you for sure that even though the campaign has not opened yet, but for us in for the campaign, they, they come and already officially opened their campaign this evening as we speak. This evening they were to the town halls, playing their CDC music, celebrating their CDC uh, uh, party. How the president is traveling for 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 I don't know how many weeks. All those things, all those things, is happening in Fuya yeah, because of Tom Fala. All right, sir. Thank you so much for the information. We appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I welcome. Right. Hello. Hello. Yeah, where you call from? Your name? My name is Ephraim Tom D. Pia. Do join from Kanto City, Nima County. We appreciate the calls from Nima tonight. Thank you. How are you listening to the show? The show is clear here, and let me say thank you to the family of Club Lule. Which station are you listening on? VOT, first of all. All right, go ahead. Thank you very much, Mo. I think the issue is clear. We are the minds who are resolved to carry the next president of this country, who is Ambassador Joseph Niman Puaka, because we are seeing the work in the United Party take. You know, for the past meeting of my agency, for which this, you know, uh, ambassador was part of this government. And what President we are is doing, we are not, is not speaking to some of us. But we said it in 2017, and how true is coming to pass now. We are discussing serious issues of this country, and you are leaving this country to go on on this issue abroad. The issue of the natives is a major concern. As I speak to him now, I was one of the individuals I was dropped and went through intensive training for some days. But when I'm critical and part of the United Party, you know, discussing the importance of this country, the country to be on the right path, you know, those guys went and dropped me. But I'm not deterred. The issue is clear that the next person can turn to the is Ambassador Jerry Mampoka. So what I want to let you know to the studio is that let the message go across. We'll keep pushing the channel in different people. Thank you. Know, you. The government has failed. The corruption is on an increase, and it is unprecedented. 
Thank you. I will go. There's a fresh government that goes up on the increase. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, boss. Thank you, boss. Hello there. Hello. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, oh. Good evening. Good evening, Mo, and good evening to the family. Good evening, your name. Oh, oh thank you very much. Oh, this is Bobby Abu Mesca, call from this district, SD Kuparu. Oh, Mo, thank you. Oh, Mo, we have to be very careful with our president. If President William can leave the country and go for the issue, to tell you how desperate and wicked person we are in. This president is, is this president to need to wish for things. Why president we are who claim to love the Latin people, to love this country, that he has not done anything, the country rewarded him for his presidency, using one point so more million dollars just to go to tours for education tour to all his girlfriends and area. Where are we heading? We have to be very careful because if we as opposition not be careful, this guy will end up turning into dictator. We know the guys already have educated. He has this to do. Joe was a half educated president. So their real half educated you know, is very high. So it is time for us to sensitize our Liberian people. They, 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 they shouldn't be moved by the politicians, by the, the, those criminals. Those thank you, criminals thank you, Bobby. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. Abu, thank you. We need to take the other callers, please. Uh, let me take this one, then you go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, this is DJ Lomel from Colorado. Yeah, DJ Lomel, go ahead. I'm listening to the crowd read over there also listening to <laughs> this good stuff. Look, Liberia, we are very interested kind of people. You know, just for him as well, a very who thought to let every snow I said about one of the panelists and making four allegations against on Bobaka, but they will not help them. Look, I'm looking for people from Lima County that they claim that... But let me ask you, DJ Lumet, why you call them to make the clarification? No, but they didn't have any money. Thank you, DJ. DJ, thank you. Thank you. Go ahead, yeah. So, Stevie, how, how, how come every time he was coming on the car reloaded, he, he don't make him be on, but he can no, be he on. No, he went in the studio. He went in the studio. Oh, he went to the studio. All right, call on the line from the U.S. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, Mr. Fee, can you hear me? Go ahead. Okay, I know what you do. Call me table. Uh... So, I got a question for everyone on the platform this evening. No. Can you guys still hear me? Make your point, my brother. Okay. You know, I say the president took a vacation, or, you know, he took a leave of absence for 48 days? <clears throat> yes, you don't see the press release. Is that the manager announcing? Okay, but, man, you know, I just hope they can go to some medical procedure somewhere that they had it for the Maybe. Oh, no. See what talk. Maybe. You see, you know, I listen to the radio. Everybody in the country calling, calling the complaint that for sure, all that kind of thing. They may have gone for two months, my man. They want to tell me, say, nobody now going to play to be national item to play tomorrow morning. <laughs> see ya? <laughs> man, you know, I wish I was in love, Robert. Yeah. You know, and I'm going to take it, man. And no private jet won't leave my country for the next three months. They may take the, <laughs> may take the country as a split tour. He said that he said we he said we stupid he said we stupid people. Everybody calling for all our way up for special. They may have been going here for two months from Paris, Morocco, 
on the other side, on the other side, we're going to work and we're going to work and we're going to complain. We're going to make a national anthem play tomorrow in the country. Okay, call on thank you. You know, uh, before you take call again, before you take call again, the, the issue about national anthem playing, we won't go down that route as a nation. Okay? That is meant, that is meant, that is meant tough. Yeah, no, we agree. Yeah, you are call on. Yeah, I got caught up. I'm waiting for George. I told yeah, him one yeah. call. Yeah, we, we, we won't go down that path. But that yeah, path is looking... That, that, with the that path, hold on, small on, bro. That path is looking very, very interesting going forward. <laughs> what are you saying now? Okay, call out the laugh from America. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> then George, okay, hey, George, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come again. Um, I'm calling from Pennsylvania. Okay. I wanted to kind of make a small contribution. Your name? I mean, the situation in Liberia. Your name, sir? My name is C. Aisha Williams. Okay, make a point. The uh, situation in Liberia can be said, it's, it's, it's pretty much a matter of choice. Obviously, uh, the, the recent uh, right situation in Liberia, we saw how Liberians were really forced for the level of force that they exhibited. It was pretty much unprecedented. Yeah. Uh, I think I called in once and I made a remark. Uh, it was taken from uh, Dr. King. You see, freedom is never ruled on the wheel of inevitability. It comes with constant agitation from the oppressed, the oppressor. And the distance between doubt and destination, we know is action. I just think that, you know, we Liberians, we really, really need to step up to the plate. The situation is, is out of control. And lastly, I, I would like to conclude by saying that uh, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. So uh, I, I think the current the current uh, government at hand should be on the lookout. I just want to throw that in today. That's my contribution. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Want somebody to talk something juicy like that? You can we will not get all the yama yama. You not go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, call up. Go ahead, call up. Go ahead, call up. Go ahead, call now, the president will go for seven weeks. Now, even leaving anyone from charge. So, who gave you all the information? Say, hello? Who gave you all the information? We, we got it through uh, a radio station. Now, the issue here that I want to address, and thank, thank, and thank you, you guys so much for getting competent reporters like Frankie and Doro Queen from. But I said it down. These are the guys who is a reporter for EFBC and Emmanuel Tigler from Markiewicz County. These are these are competent yeah, reporters yeah. who are always on the scene, you know. So Clark Ridley is making headway in this country to get to get hold of the guy. In Grandma of County, Dream and I said that we have one something daily for EFBC. I don't know for Grandma. Can you answer. can you so find it for her for us? Get in contact with him. Yes. Yes. We don't, we don't, we don't have his contact. If you can help us get a contact, we appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, and 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 and, and my issue is uh, having to do with. Oh, my man, you don't have an issue yet. Yeah, but give me a chance, man. I was going to congratulate you people. Just give me that one minute, sir. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I thank you. I've been too long in that now. The issue with uh, my Gideon, what I saw on the twenty eighth of of of, of October mm. when I was in Panza around the the the, the, the boys town area that the town in their phantom and a group that i saw with other people having listened to their uh, lawmaker the the one of the lawmaker uh tampoe even uh uh ever result tampoe who deliver with their own those issues those charges are against the guys not just Liberia things but international and 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 when you listen to the u.s ambassador they made the last the last statement was Liberia's problem. We will not look for it for you, but it's your own. Why are your own for you to be in your country? Is that it will be that English are very clear to listen to it. Today, young people in the country, I saw them taking criminals, were wearing the t-shirts of the criminals to say that you corrupt, you're not corrupt, we warn you. I was in marketing. It brought tears 
to my eyes. Even when I was in Quantum, I brought out discussion on the table with a young guy in the middle of the Some of us here, we're not in favor of that thing. You know, so the international community looking at us, three table days, he came up, he came up, I'm for you. Uh, uh, <laughs> you know, you know, we will vote for you. These are things that are bad on us. Today, the city they have been reverted. Uh, before, before October, it has been reverted. Where in the night, people welcome to to away from Yapatan straight to Sesto and say, you cover, you not cover. We got a video. So these are things that people need to start. Uh, people looking at us tomorrow. Anything that spark on with the guy winning election in the country, the, the you know, the community will that we're not serious. We're not serious people, and we need to discuss. I think on our cloud, we know that is making her way. Thank, and you, thank you, you, Chief. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, hello. Mm -hmm. Oh, they may go up. Oh. Ah, okay, he's back. Oh, yeah, uh, anyway, I wanted to be hello. Uh, hello? Yeah? Go ahead. Okay, uh, I am Rufus Toasem, aspiring district number eight, Maserado County. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a member of uh, the All Life Grand Party ALP. Okay. Um, thank you guys very much for keeping the torch burning. Mm hmm. And informing the Liberian people about pertinent issues that is uh, uh, training daily in our country. Now, um, the president has traveled. You know, one thing I see about Liberian, we 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 normally complain about situation, but we can't take action. Could you imagine in in Sudan, in North in North Sudan, people? Strike for just bread, shortage of bread, it led to uh, the stepping down of Bashir. Okay, so even if it was in a town park where the military used, uh, uh, used to stand up against uh, uh, leaders that are insensitive to the plight of people they are living, then today in our country, if it was in a town park, then a uh, uh, president was no longer in power. So, I mean, it's so lamenting and frustrating to have this kind of president that is only going for personal advertisement and after, you know, personal life. So, on the basis of that thing, um, we have to stand up as Liberian, those of us who eyes are open because you know our society is highly illiterate. We need to keep informing the people that what you guys are doing so that 2023 we redeem this country from Egypt, from the hands of Pharaoh. To the promised land. The country has gone from bad to worse. All of this, they perfect and erratic regime led by a soccer legend, uh, uh, George Weah. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Asparent. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Yeah, I need the last one for her, and then we'll take the rest of PS. Thank you. Yeah, first call from Bone County. Go Good. ahead. Good uh, you know, some of these things that can be happening with all the. Tell the call, Scott Steven, your organizers in the background been making plow with all this. They will say today we're call up day and we're talking plenty. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, let's go. But you saw yeah, your organizers yeah. making plow with us, right? And you know the two grumble men, eh? You don't read it? Yeah, the caller is on the line. Start with your talk, yeah. Yeah, like what I'm saying, I think some of these things are gonna happen with all the national legislature response to us. Why? Because we because we elected these people to be the representative of us so that they can represent us to the national legislature. But what happened is when we elect them, when they enter in the house now, because of the the branding from outside, they term themselves as they were pressing us to the executive. So at times they don't even bring their points to some of these things they are, they are trying to bring to them. So they will only serve anything only because they want to get something in their pocket. Why would the president be putting 1.5 million just to win one football game and the national legislature, they are there. They need to sign that. They approve of it. They allow him to do it. So most of the things that are happening, we only need to hold them responsible. Because if you allow president, we are not even going to take the... But they say they can't... They, 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 the legislature say they can't ask them... They said they can add them. Yeah, they said they can get the money. Oh. But they need to be calling people for a story. Uh. Because 
these are the reasons why we lecture them. They are our motives in them. But if some of these things happening, they don't bring you to vote. If I, what if, 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 if the worst thing is if they if they invite some of the ministers to appear before them, the people can even be coming because one law member will, 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 will stand to be defending ministers in plenary. Then we don't see the reason why they even some of them to appear before them. So they can be coming and say, we just going to walk. They come by, nothing will happen. All right, Chief. Thank you a lot. We appreciate you from Bob. Hello, go ahead. Hello, uh, my name is Michael Harris, and I come from Minnesota. Yeah, Michael, go ahead. All right, I want to thank you guys for, you know, sacrifices you make for the betterment of our country. And uh, I just want to buttress one of the color that say, this is not we are first time doing this. I think in the first or second year of his presidency, the very soon he going to Qatar to watch to play World Cup. When he was playing at PSG, we are abandoning the country. He want to see his son play a soccer match. But maybe the reason why this is generating huge public interest because we are nearing elections, so everybody got interest now. So this has been highlighted. But like the caller said, we have been doing it for a very, for the very initial stage of his presidency. But I think uh, so. Did he, uh, so did, he, did he travel? At the initial stage of the presidency and spend 1.5 million at him. In the length of time, also, yeah, and, for, and, for, and for 48 and for 48 days. No, no, it's not. I'm, that's what I'm saying. It's not for that length of time. Okay. But what I know is that he left. He left on official on on the same taxpayers' money. He want to see his son committed. We are playing for PSG. When you know, you, you remember you play for PSG. You want to play for PSG. But that was besides the point. So we happy now that this has been highlighted, and maybe at the time the opposition the election was still far, so this thing will not be highlighted. And the space was so open, so we have to just win. It was to do. But now thank God that you know people like you guys. Uh, you know, educating our people, highlighting these issues, so that that will also greatly help the opposition and also help educate the voters, so that to make informed decision when they go to the to, to the to the pool to vote. So that will that will that will eventually, most of you who support what we do, we have to assist us because, for example, we need this we need a show on community radio station in all the counties. The few community radio station we have it on, it is the same PIO on air, Stephen Johnson. Uh, Mo Ali, uh, Senator Dillon, we are the same people who are taking money from our pocket that we don't have yeah, to, pay yeah, yeah. to pay those radio stations. Right. So, this, this is one thing that I want to do. I maybe, but I just like talk to just who myself. Whether or not there is a way that because each of you guys have this show. I don't hear you guys making a, a, a public call that even if I want to sponsor a radio station or anything for contribution. I don't hear you guys doing that. I think that should be a problem of this show. I think there are a lot of people who a lot of people have got you interested in this initiative, you guys are doing the sacrifices. If you just I like, don't every show is one of some sponsor a radio station, I'm sure a lot of like are willing to do this, but I don't unfortunately I don't hear you guys saying that. So I'm, I just yeah, to, uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, because we didn't. I've been taking care of one of you. You are right. We we just didn't want to put uh, because the truth also is that we're doing this thing for the bottom of our heart. So we didn't want to put anything like it's not. Yeah, for me, but, I, don't, for me I, don't, I don't see it. So it is an interest for me. I'm in America, right? I mean, I mean, by grace of God, I can do what I have to do to do. But it was so if the country is not better, the pressure is on you here. It's on all of us here. But if the country is better, we got the right leadership in place. And I think, um, the pressure here will be less on us. So I think if you guys, you guys, all of us, oh, you be not get money, you be broke, you guys don't mind that. All of you say, oh, they did not they bring your money, they ask for, they ask for sponsorship. We don't mind that. But those who know one want like to be better, they are going to take interest in space supporting the initiative. I don't think you guys will shy away from, from, from making an announcement. That all would right. be my, my appeal to you guys. Thank you, Michael. Um, yeah, secondly, to, to this, this my gay issue in, in, in uh, um, uh, like, uh, uh, my GB, like you said, Pia, you want to hear all the stakeholders like David Mayer got those guys huge info in the county. I mean, this is time for them, anybody who loves Liberia. It's not just about the opposition or, or, or Joseph Black and what have you. But people, those who really love Liberia should not begin to stand and expose to people because people have been in, in the corridor of power for, for some time. And they will see the way they are going our, our country. Going back again to say they want to come back in the legislature, I think people who have that influence for the voters in my given country, they should begin to now speak Since up. Time, my number is the number that the color using. So the, so the, yeah, that's my number. And to Mo Ali, 
I just want to say this to you. I mean, I noticed that before then you announced your voice for, I mean, to become a representative, when you say a PRO, a PRO school talk, you used to be very explosive. But I noticed that now and then you become a little bit soft. Maybe it would be that because you uh, you want vote, so you want vote from all sides, so you're kind of a little bit disarmed yourself. No, 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 no. That's not it. Maybe you used to be that as a guest. So, yeah, let me let me uh, respond you to may, that. You mean you mean you mean Mago Mago? Wait, wait, wait. You mean soft? Where on spoon or on year? On spoon. I say on spoon. No, okay. Yeah. So, so on I come in more. I come to you on Friday. You are on spoon. You suggesting that you are very soft on Friday. I mean, that's right. It was Wednesday. 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 Okay, Mo, 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 Mo said you should remain on the phone because you want to respond. Go ahead, Mo. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, his, his name is Michael, right? Michael Harris. Michael, um, when yes, I was sir. Secretary General, I appear on Spoon Talk as 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 a guest and when you appear as a guest is is an entirely different thing even oh, on the sir. class we know that remember when we have guests we as panelists we just ask questions and then after what we analyze if we don't have guests at all we are discussing our issues we come down very hard on those issues like we are doing tonight so there is a difference between being a guest and being a panelist Okay, so in other words, you're telling, you're telling uh, uh, Michael that on time that he thought you were soft is because you were not a guest, you were a panelist, right? Absolutely. Okay, they don't even gain, they don't even gain. Yeah, so Michael, Ma Michael, I'll show you her more, oh, man. Yeah, I, that, that's what I said. Maybe that I said that, I said that in my, in my, in my prison. Yeah, Mo, Mo, Mo is a... He's not, not a guest, not a day, and he's not a panelist, but before he used to be a guest. Mo is a, Mo is yeah, a trusted yeah, comrade. Yeah, we, yeah, we trust Mo. He's a, he's a very well adopted degree. So he's not intellectually. I know. Mo, that. I'm not my first call here. Don't be holding food in your hand. I think I called the the first one there. I have a food you holding your hand. <laughs> don't 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 take don't 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 take call. Let me let me let, let other people the in America. You know what I'm saying? Stay long on the line. Take my man for me too. Now I'm telling you to wait. <laughs> there you wait, small. Yeah. Let me let me. Okay, we have. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Don't worry. Uh, call your name and make your point. All right. Um, this is Terry Genesis, uh, and it's a pleasure joining you guys. Firstly, I would like to extend my thanks and appreciation to Mo Ali, uh, the Jeremy Kia. I see my friend and brother there who are all on my show also, too. But uh, I just want to state something here. <clears throat> to be honest, I'm very, very disappointed in the entire government. Specifically, George, we are. Look, I listened to uh, Commissioner Eugene Nangwe. <laughs> Eugene Nangwe had the guts to tell the Liberian people, he and few other officials advised George, we are to put all his trip in one package and travel out of the country. And we are accepted it. And according to Eugene Nangwe, he said that. This was the first time in the history of the country for the government, I mean, for a president to put all his trip together and travel out of the country. I mean, even saying that particular thing or advising the president to do that, it was absolutely wrong and it was ill advised. But Eugene Nagel was bragging on his own talk show and saying that what the president did to accept the piece of advice to package all his trip. You know, to walk back in and travel, it was something that it should be laudable. Now, Eugene was unable to tell the, the, the public or the country about the budget the president traveled on. So it been speculated in the moment that uh, the president had taken over one million or one point five million, you know, for his trip. Now, Eugene had the, the gods to tell the library people that uh, out of the trip, the dividend that they have that they are expecting for the country to benefit is 50 million how huh? in the heck you don't know the budget that the president is traveling on but yet you tell the people that 50 million 
you know, going to be, uh, I mean, the, the dividend that we're going to benefit 50 million. And George Weah is just going, it's just because of the whole World Cup business, George Weah is going to, like I said, or Qatar. And he, because he was able to meet, you know, he was able to, like I said, to spend that particular time, that the reason why he put all the dream to just go and walk about. Now, I agree with one of the callers that, look, why is it that the Liberian people cannot take action? One, why is it, I mean, look, I want to call Dylan now, I didn't call Dylan, but I made a post in Dylan, uh, I can say he commented on it, that it's difficult for them to, for them to sponsor a bill of impeachment, you know, with John Weah, because according to him, he said that they have, you know, a uh, spineless majority. But for the sake of the record, Dylan can sponsor a bill with other, you know, uh, like mine, or senator, or representative, you know, to just put it on record that John Weah was impeached. Even if they don't have the number, at least they did something. So I'm calling, I want to use the opportunity to call on Dillon, I want to call on Jacob Koluba and other like minds or lawmakers to sponsor a bill while John Weah is on the country for 48, uh, 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 I don't know, 48 days or, or one month. He should be a pitch. That is my call. Thank you very much. Yeah, I appreciate it. All right. Terry Genesis, thank you. Oh, that was <laughs> Huh? Oh, Terry Swatty. Yeah, yeah, Terry Genesis. Where, Cyrus? Okay, oh, my name is oh. Cyrus Johnson. I joined this conversation. Oh, I told the other Cyrus that I call you and I'm taking again. Members of the Christian team of Cornelia Toba, the incoming representative of this unit. My baby, where? Cornelia, okay, I have to defend our own team. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let me say this to you. And my senior vice president, who will see you on the platform tonight. Uh huh. It's sorrowful that we trust our brother with authority at the end to tell people that we are a fool. We are sorry for the expression. It's sorrowful that for president we are to take power and then to feel that because he feel he want he enjoy the national state and you forget him about the mercy. It's sorrowful to see president we are in the executive branch of government to give the young people of this country to the majority of their are traumatized because of our suspense that they input into this country that we cannot see any action for him our brothers and sisters this is actually my last call on we almost 11 and please be a little I, fast i get it crazy on a daily basis mm -hmm. and today we get him to know that yeah president of is not in the country and he went morocco and yeah when he put a lot of dj behind and he forgetting to know that the little five dollar the little ten dollar went to pay our taxes it's why people, it's why national government use for development. And he just put people behind just because he feel that he's not working. So that's why I decided to go on the platform on a daily basis. Thank you. That Thank you, Cyrus. We only open on Ambassador Joseph Nima Bada and even including veteran Mo Ali. You all need to work with the party, collect the effort, that for the the grace of God for President Mia will be one thing. And I pray that you will be one thing because there is nowhere in the world Joe, President Joe Mia has won title two times. Thank President you, Cyrus. Thank you. We, we, we live now. We're out of time. Thank you. Um, That's the last from my end. It's 11 now. So, George, 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 no more. Go ahead, sir. Okay. Uh, thanks. And I just want to give you you guys a little update. Uh, I understand that the two ships left uh, Harper. And a mobile model who unceremoniously traveled to the county where the ships were there has also left. Number, number three, strangely, included on model team was an official hailing from Maryland County and working with DEA. He left the county. So uh, I feel that those ships have some drugs on it. And my fourth item is uh, it's not for this platform. I listened to a Costa this morning talking about West Point and Grand Jeter. And 
how black car should not waste his time on West Point and graduate. Black car is running to become president of the whole nation. And Okoro informed him that when Boakai was running, Boakai even went to Nancy Do village. And I feel that I know uh, it is a disservice. When we start talking about, you no, know, uh, Nima County has more votes than the whole of Southeast. I know the Southeastern counties, River says, Sano, uh, uh, Grand, Grand Jitter, Grand Crew, uh, Maryland, they have more than 15,000 registered voters than Nima County, according to NEC website. And I stated here that if we continue to say that census is coming and voter registration is coming, we are is going to rig this this coming election in the southeast. So no, uh, those are those are the points I have. Thank you. All right. And and and, and besides that, oh, my name is George. Talk about no training technician, training this person. I mean that is not something for now. Oh, uh, when. Trumpman was president. Kwame Nkuma, Bill Odam, Buta Dam, or uh, Kenneth Kawunda, Bill Odam. I visited no, that dam. Nansa, Bill Aswan Dam. And those dams are still seven nations. Why Trumpman was built or uh, uh, buying or no target generator? So no, I agree with, with George. Kwame Okuma built Kumasi Institute of Technology. Tokma did not build anything. I so I see that the coming leaders or uh, or the coming leader, Waka, should concentrate on technology. Thank you. All right. That's the final call for today. Yeah. I got I got I got headache. Yeah, that's a George, you there, George? Today, uh, Mo Ali, I read you, I read you, but my man, guys, I'm coming for the show. Yeah, today, we promised the corner that we were going from them, so yeah, that's I why agree. We, but I'm not part of the show there. I think we hung up. I know, but you join late. Oh, you're knocking, you're knocking something in the background. Uh, they eat this one salad, man. <laughs> while Puma, while, while, while lower the thing that I can be doing. Yeah, yeah, I understand. I had a good shout out to you. Yeah, yeah Ali, my man, you there? Hello, Ali, is that eating? Yeah, Ali, you're in a situation. <laughs> yeah, Steve, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know, but guys, I mean, it was a good show, you know, and we listened to the call. So, can we, um, can we, um, can we just close Wrap up, up right? Call? Yeah, we got three hours, man. I got George, George can roll for long, so that George lead a closing. Yeah, George. You sure that me or that you? George first, then I lead them. I will take us through. I got a headache, man. I need to go. Yeah, man. I'm tired. Yeah, I'm tired. Okay, but um, it was a nice show. And uh, at least the people had time to talk, the call and talk, you know. and. One of the things that I want to stress on is the lazy mentality of the Liberian people. John, we are. My father used to say something. He said, anytime somebody die, you go visit the horse. Just stay in the back, stay on the side and watch how the people can cry for that person. And you will know the true character, the true nature of the person. You will know from the way the people will cry. You can see cry that fulfills righteousness and you can see cry or cries that are cries of agony mean many people will really miss this guy or this lady and they are crying because of who that person have been on the earth the reason why i'm saying this thing is this if somebody plays national item nobody will miss joe yeah go he want a job that's just the reality the man doesn't want to work because look 
being president at 24 7 job to especially with a country that is dysfunctional like liberia that's only what you have to do from the morning to the night you got to get things rolling you got to get people working agriculture is dead how how do we speed it up our you shouldn't have time off yes our hospitals are dirty go to phoebe hospital it's so dirty. It's not a place for anybody to put their person to go and lie there. But that is what people in there. That's a regional referral hospital for for a couple of area for a couple of counties in our area. So the reason I'm saying this thing is somebody who is who is passionate about the job. You see, John Weir did not promise the librarian people anything. He said, "I will do this. I will do that." He didn't articulate any ideology. He didn't give any plan to like bring people. These are the things, these are the steps I'm going to take to reform, mm -hmm. to change, to bring up a new day and a new dawn, to, to, to reawaken the librarian dream. He said nothing to us. So as a result, he owes us nothing. We voted for a man free of charge. That's why he abandons us and moved out of the country. Because exactly what you're talking about going for for, 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 for over a month. That I mean, that suitcases that in the entourage and in the yeah. expenses for the eight days that's a yeah that's a, yeah, that's a, that's a lot and and and, and 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 the entourage and the and, and the, the expense the the, the the logistics that goes with moving a president out of the country and keeping him the security the hotel the transportation the and all the different things that go you know how for around the fee at the walk up around the fee at the walk up it's about 900. okay so just imagine what it is now to go as a president, maybe because he's a head of state, they won't charge him his people. Yeah, they sit. We are sitting out somewhere around six thousand five hundred. Yeah, but they will not. They will not take money from the Qataris. Will not take money. He played football there and all that kind of thing. But my point here is this: right now in Liberia, uh, we are to wake up. Look, listen, look at it. How the people revolted, woke up, voiced their dis disapproval, stood in repudiation on the rights issue, call his call his names, and and, and, and they were vocal. But when they men in the country, everybody quiet. They sitting to the hot plane, Lulu, and talking about it. You know, that's the reason why they, to face Liberia, it will be hard. It will, it will take a long time. They really need a revolutionary leader. He might be old, but his mentality, his discipline is what I was, is what, the reason why I'm, I'm supporting him. Joseph, I'm talking about Joseph Borgai. Because we need somebody with that discipline to change Liberia. Look, let me tell you something. The people in Liberia, look at Sierra Leone. Be uh, 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 what he needs uh, 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 um, and the president. He just left the country for just a little bit, and they almost kept him out of the country. For us in Liberia, the man took one point five million dollars. JFK there, and look, look, look at uh, Redemption Hospital in a very dilapidated state. You know what one point five billion dollars can do? You know how many decks it can buy. You know how many high quality said what's the name of the thing? How many laboratories it can it, it can furnish for public schools? Do you know what 1.5 million dollar can do if it's used properly with wisdom and, 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 and integrity? So I don't want to be labeled. We already not taking a little time. We, I want to thank all those who have been here with us. But <laughs> the reality here is our people, we we we, we lack ourselves. That man, you think you think I mean look, let me tell you something. Burkina Faso, the people they been in power, he in the office, they tell him to get out from there. You think the man out of the office, you think the will can't tell us when we move and they that says suffering? You don't sit down there and let something let me tell you something. Now that war we fighting again. You know, when you can't do the job, even if we bring Joseph Burger there, he he do the job, I'm gonna tell him to go. It's as simple as that. We we're not here for no more putting pig in, in blanket. We'll get you the job, you do the job, get out and go. Just exactly. leave us alone. Simple. The reason why we're supporting him because we know our mouths will be on him and he will do the right thing. He will not sit out and be an absent leader. But if he decides that after we put him there, that he won't do the, the contract that we signed with him, just about that he won't do the contract. I own, so I'm telling you, we move the man from there. We get on the street and get a man out. Oh, him plus the national, the national legend. They just, all of them go home. Because we mm -hmm. want we want change with Liberia now. And that's what we're saying. The leader that we, we we want, we want, we want someone who will listen, who will be open, who will be open to ideas, and who will allow the country to prosper. If you can't do it, don't even look for the job. Just go say I said that. Your good name, Thank man. you, Josh. Ali. Um. Thank you, Stephen. Um. 
I don't want to take long. Uh, this person called, they didn't get through, so they send a message. I will just read a message as my closing. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so this guy said, it is very disheartening and frustrating for Liberians to see their president leave or abandon his official duty for 48 days in the face of mounting and glaring problems the country is faced with. Our hospitals have become prescription centers. This is insensitivity to the highest degree. That 1.5 million USD used for such untimely jolly jolly trade can be used in a better way to bring some relief to the Liberian people. Anyway, Liberians will award him his just reward comes 2023. James S. Gopher, Nima County. Hmm, profound. Yeah, yeah, be my case. That my close. Profound. Here. Yeah, it's profound. I, and thank you, James. I think that's that's profound. Yeah. Trying to to pick up from Terry Genesis comment uh, about dividend of this trip. I think that where this government has always had problems since it came to power. When they blunder and they come under pressure, then they think they are obligated to say something to justify their action. And in most of the cases, what they will say will end up to be lies. Or if it is not lies, it's something that's not attainable. I remember when they came to power, they went to France. The first assistance that this administration was celebrating was some 10 million that's supposed to come from France. They've gone five years, going to the sixth one. We're still waiting for that 10 million. They announced another 2,000 or how many thousand teachers from Nigeria? 6,000. 6,000. I'm bringing it down, sir. 6,000 teachers are still coming up to today. <laughs> yeah. They're walking. They go in a swamp, follow Jetty. I don't know where Jetty goes through there in the swamp. As soon as they join the swamp, they get confused. So they come to build Bali Island in a swamp. We're still waiting for Bali Island. They pass on the beach. Send uh, that clappy. So he passed Negro Town, West Point, and he look at the beach. He said, okay, there's something called Coastal Highway. We can do it. They made all the noise about that one Coastal Highway. It's still coming. Eton and Iboma supposed to solve all the road problems in the country because it's, they were trying to get money for them to pave all the roads in the country. Full one NAS operation with the two groups our legislature, knowing them to be what they are, they even went and ratified that nonsense. The they, all, swap. they all got dis disgrace. They're supposed to be swapping mineral with what, the I Chinese, know. right? Yeah. We're still, we're still waiting for that. Now, somebody comes and says, because the president has been criticized for trying for 48 days, they say, oh, we get 50 million. Should the president travel for 50 days get to do for 40, I mean, 50 million? You have 25 million of your own money. If you manage your own resources, you don't have to travel for 48 days to get, get to go back for 50 million. You took your own money, 25 million of it, you say you do more exercise. It end up all in people's pocket. You took your own money. COVID, people are still trying to find food for themselves. Nobody told you they needed food supply. You say you want to divide food for COVID. 30 million gone. You came to power on the wheels of seven, uh, 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 17 billion of printed local currency. It disappeared. And then if you see all that the US sanctions say about the guys who stole and the sanction, all the things happening about corruption, you do not need to spend taxpayer money for 48 days to go look for 50 million. After all, you've been, you've been boasting about budget surplus. You said you've elevated our budget from 500,000 to around 800, I mean 500 million to around 800 million. So do you need to travel around for 48 days? And you call it a buckle up trip? And somebody will say that the first time happening, the first time happening is the first time of class stupidity ever happened. And the president will leave the country. And like Georgian said, I don't blame the people who have asked we have to do that. I don't blame we are himself. Because in other countries, you will not come back. That somebody said national anthem will play. And you'll be required to remain exile. 
In Liberia, it will not happen. Because the people sit down, they will only complain, they will only call, and they will accept any, anything. But I know they will not let themselves down, they will not let us down. 2023, they will right the wrongs. Because every day, President, we are in his team giving them the reasons why they should right that wrong. Liberians are not what we think they are. I think they got a lot of thought with themselves. They know what is good and what is bad. It's just that if they like Stephen Johnson, they gave you the benefit of the doubt until you feel them. And we saw that happening. I'm sure they will pay Mr. Weir in his own coin in 2023. It's been a good show. Uh, we've gone over three hours. I will end it right there. Thank you. And let me just announce that uh, our friend uh, Winfred Russell, a librarian in, in Brooklyn Park, is running for the mayor position uh, here in the U.S. That election is uh, slated for Tuesday. So librarians in the Brooklyn Park area, in that is in Minnesota, um, you can uh, <clears throat> get out to vote for your very own librarian um, so that we too can have our voices heard. Um, Winfrey is one of us. He's a Liberian native. Uh, he's running for mayor position that is in Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. And elections um, will be on uh, on Tuesday of next week, which is the eighth. Um, so if you if you legible voter, you can turn out and vote for. So guys, let me just uh, thank you for for joining us. Thank you, Pia. Thank you, Ali. Thank you, George. As always, uh, for joining us. Let us also say thanks to our radio station, uh, Bushra Radio FM. John, let it, let it, let it, let it, let the audience see you before the show close. Don't put that thing over there. Bring yourself on the screen. Oh, it's, it's, it's George. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the man was talking about Isis Sala. <laughs> the man was talking about Isis Sala. Yeah, so let okay. me that, that recognize our radio station. We're talking about Bushra Radio FM 98.1 in Montserrat. Shata FM 102.5 in Montserrat. Premier FM 98.1 in Banga Bon County, Rachel Tupa FM 89.1 in Grand Basso, Voice of Lofa FM 99.3, there in Vonjama, Rachel Joy Africa 97.5, in Maggie, Voice of Copa 106.5, in Nima, Puto Radio FM 102.3, and Rachel Joy Africa is having a program tomorrow in in Kakata City, and uh, bon uh, uh, Maggie County. Uh, the class reloader will be represented by Patrick Honor. So Patrick Honor will be there in uh, Maggie County tomorrow. So um, guys, uh, it was a great show. It's good to see you. All. Hopefully we'll meet on Monday, God's willing, uh, and we can pick up from there. All right, guys, have a good night. And let me say thanks to all of our listeners and uh, those who've been commenting in the comment session. We we'll appreciate the fact that you follow us here regularly. And uh, uh, we hope that you all have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful weekend. God bless. Bye-bye. Ali. It's all.